I think it's about finding time we began getting back to some good old story. After I get this chesty that I somehow missed. But yes, after this we will begin uh, doing the Arkham Quest. Act 4. And uh, playing it to the end. Honestly, can't wait to see uh, what we get up to next. But yeah, let's uh, let's get back to it. Let's uh, go back to Mavika and uh, tell her about Capitano Scudo plan. Awika, all right. We're here. Traveler, Paimon Sitlali. Perfect timing. I've located the captain. What? Already? Damn. Oh, really? That's great! We also just took a peek at Aurora's memories and discovered something huge! Oh, uh... All with his granny's permission, of course. Or no, actually, it was... A uh, calm down, Paimon. I'll take it from here. Yeah, we gotta look at why he's co collaborating with the Fatui. <laughs> so the captain was searching for the source mechanism to reconstruct the ley lines. Uh huh. If his plan is already in motion, that means he knows exactly how to accomplish his goal. We have to stop him. Is reconstructing the ley lines a bad thing? Yes. It's not a simple fix. Hmm. It would mean sacrificing nearly everything contained within the current ley lines. Ooh. Very similar to the price of using a Gnosis. Hmm. If he activates the mechanism, it's all over. We need to mobilize our forces as soon as possible. But what forces do we have? Yeah, we kind of spread thin with the abyss attacking everywhere. Kanich, Shilonen, you two, and myself. Oh shit. All other warriors are working to push back the abyss on the front line. You're coming too? I mean, all right. But that's barely any people. Not to mention, you lost your power, and they've got the captain on their side. Oh, maybe we really should get Seat Lolly to break Oron's legs. <laughs> that won't help us with the captain, I'm afraid. Yeah. In any case, the masters of the Nightwind are in urgent need of manpower. Seat Lolly, I was hoping you could head back and help defend the tribe. All right. I understand where I'm needed. I'll head out right away. All right. Don't worry about your grandson. We'll figure something out for sure. Bye, see Lolly. I'll leave him to you all then. All right. Back to the matter at hand. Hmm. I don't believe defeating the captain needs to be our ultimate goal. I guess negotiate with him, maybe. Let me grab Shilonen and Kanich, then I'll tell you my idea. I'll see his Kanich is going to be on voice. And also from what I've heard as well, um, when the Sumer Arkham Quest like, rolls around... Uh, that's our conquest, the uh, events. Apparently, all the VAs or like the all the characters will not be voiced due to the strike, except for Paimon and Sino, which means just 90% of the characters will not be voiced. So, I guess when that time rolls around, I'll actually put on Japanese voices just so I don't have to voice everybody like anyway, myself. <laughs> but yeah, for this, for this, our conquest, I think I'll continue to voice like Kinichi and Kajino when they come up. It's only two characters, anyways. I hope you guys can bear with uh, my terrible voice acting. As you all know, Auroron is working with the captain and we need to stop their plan. The captain is a formidable opponent, but that shouldn't deter us. In any case, a head-on confrontation isn't the best way to solve the issue. Their plan hinges entirely on a single element, the source mechanism. If we leverage our forces, we can destroy it, and mm. then success is ours. We'll head out together. In the event that a confrontation becomes inevitable, I'll stall the captain while you advance. No, you're our leader, and you lost your power. You should be the one to face the captain. I agree with Kanich. The two of us can handle it. Listen to my plan first. Kanich, I want you and Ahau to launch an assault from the front and break through the Fatui defenses. Okay. The captain won't be on the front lines. As a seasoned warrior, he'll be stationed in close proximity to the device to ensure its protection. So you want to... you want us to lure him from the front? No. The purpose of the frontal assault is to gather the Fatui forces in one place. That way, it's easier for the rest of us to avoid them. Shilonen, I need you to do what your tribe does best, and dig a tunnel from the outskirts of the ruin. Like a tunnel. Once we get close to the device, we just need to destroy it. Just like that? Just can you really do dig a tunnel that quickly? <laughs> so Shilona is not launching the main assault. Exactly. The traveler and I will join her as well. 
No one can create a distraction better than you, Kanich, not even myself. By combining our strengths, we just might manage to break through the captain's defenses. Hmm. When do you see it coming, though? He, he might suspect that, you know, we're on our way, considering fucking uh, Chaska and her sister got caught. Leave it to me. Understood. Then we should uh, head out now. Just promise us you won't do anything reckless. You cannot face the captain straight on unless you have no other choice. You mean everything to us. Losing you would be the worst possible outcome. I also try my best not to let things get to that point. Oh boy. <laughs> Me and you, we may have to fight the Capit uh, Capitano ourselves. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. You have my word. I'll proceed with caution. Oh boy, here we go. Act 4, the rainbow destined to burn. Oh goodness. How the fuck is this gonna go down? Alright. Head to the entrance to the remnants of the uh, secret source. Alright, this yeah, is the place. Their tunnel must be behind that gathering of Fatui guards. Uh-huh. Any of the nearby mountains could be a good infiltration point, but if we want to stay under the radar, we should approach from the side. Oh yeah, I just realized we just brought... He just... Yeah, she brought people along. Let's agree. As agreed, Aha and I will handle things at the front. There are only a few Fatui stationed around the perimeter. We should take care of them first so they can't alert anyone. Yeah, take care of them first. <laughs> Great job, localization team. <laughs> okay, defeat the Fatui on patrol near... Okay, I just gotta beat them up. Oh, shit, our house just right there, ready to rain fucking parades on them. Okay, um, wait. Oh. Wait. <laughs> the location's pointing me elsewhere. Was I not supposed to go here? Uh. Hey, don't get too close. Can we just handling things over there? Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm not meant to be here. I'm meant to be over there. Okay. All right. She, uh, Kinich is a distraction. Okay. So let's get to it. Man, such wonderful music that's playing right now as we're heading into a battle that will cost a million lives. Alright, go right, down. That's done. Let's head to the foot of the mountain. Oh, alright. What do you think, Shilonen? Is this a good spot? To dig a three people dig a tunnel? Uh, I'm not so sure about that. Yeah, looks good. We'll take it from here. Think of it as possible. Try to see what of the keen the children of echoes make quick work about dig a tunnel. Inside. Perfect. We'll keep going. The rest of you should head back. Things are about to get dangerous. We're about to fuck shit up. All right. Please, take care. Okay. Remnants of the secret source. Yeah, I think this team will work just fine. Let's go. What are you up to, Capitano? Receive even the remnants of the secret source. The Tui wouldn't concentrate all their forces in one place. There's sure to be guards on the inside, so stay sharp. Oh, nice job mm. smashing those rocks, Moika. You look super cool. Ah, that was some expert level rock clearing. Even by my tribe standards. I mean, yeah, she's a pyro archon, so <laughs> I would I'm expecting smashing rocks be the least she can do. Uh, what is that? <sighs> this spell is from the Masters of the Nightwind. No, it's Aurorons doing. They're probably trying to buy time. Oh, not a problem. All right, rotate the device and complete the image and open the path. Complete the image? What? The path's already open. Okay. I guess Malfi could just solve the puzzle for me. These wheels are relics from oh, ancient this times. One. We should try to restore them. These mechanisms probably control that wheel, right? Let's give them a try. Oh, it's on these puzzles. Okay. No, no need to view the hint again. <laughs> yeah, just stare into the Soaring's eyes. Guys, while I try and uh, do this, look at him. Look at how adorable he is. All right, and stopper. There we go. Hey, there we go. Stop the captain and Aurora. Oh shit, they're here. Oh shit, they're here. Stop in the name of the law and that one. Oh, this must be it. There they are. Right there. Oh, the captain's here too. <laughs> Perfect. Looks like they focus their defenses over there. Oh, they're here. Oh, shit. Huh. 
I thought the Pyro Archon would choose a frontal assault. It doesn't matter. They're too late anyway. Oh, shit. Stop! It's too late. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We need to turn it off. Destroy it. There's still time. I won't let you do this. Oh, God. Come on. Don't do this. Uh-oh. Uh ah, shit. The sound of... Lament? Lament? Chow? <laughs> Now's our chance to turn off the device. So close, we need to approach from the side and lure the captain away. Uh, oh god. Oh, Roron? Roron? How did he just... What the fuck? How did he just do? His movements have gotten a lot faster. What the hell? Is Roran always this good in battle? He's a fucking speedster? Oh, so hey, Landers, welcome stream, welcome. Yeah, we're if, we're just starting the uh, Act 4 of the Island Rock and Quest. Oh god. <sighs> Since when we're she loading in? Uh, this no. Is now. Oh fuck! Uh, huh? What the? The, the captain just something's wrong. The captain how she loading? Why? Hmm. Oh shit! <laughs> Ron, you okay? Oh god. You are not a Roron. Who are you? Oh, what? Uh, what? Imposter? <laughs> Commander. What? You. Who the fuck? So, you still recognize me, Commander? I'm glad. Wait a minute. Although, I believe you have some more pressing concerns at the moment. Totori? Is that you? Wait, that's the story's voice. Now! We did it! Okay, but if, if he's here, where the fuck is the real Auroron? Wait. Uh, <laughs> you see? You indulge your sense of honor for just a moment, and now you've lost your chance. Wait a minute. Even now, you're still the same as ever. Remember the truth about Aurora and also why he has a silver casting in his vision? Wait. Don't tell me the Aurora we've been seeing this whole time is a fake. Wait, no, no, that can't be it. No, no, no. Hang on, what? His voice is completely different. Is. Is someone inhabiting Aurora's body? Stop worrying about other people's survival, about their losses and sacrifices. You just need to win. That's a Tori. That's why I've returned. For this moment. His voice is so distinct. I th I've, I'm 99% certain it's him. Please finish what you set out to do, Commander. <sighs> I didn't expect to see you here, but I have to disagree. Abandoning one's comrades is not the way of a warrior. Why do you care about a doomed man? I know you can see it. He's already close to death. Oh yeah, right, because he's meant to be, like, sacrificed to save other people's, like, souls. After all, his soul has been right. incomplete from the start. That's... fuck. <sighs> Get out of here, Dottori! Oh, someone said I'm close to death. Is it because of that noise just now? The piercing cry came from underground when I activated the device. Oh no, he okay, he got possessed when I, I guess when the device went off. Okay. What's down there? Natland's ley lines must be hiding some kind of secret. What's he doing here in Natland though, Dottori? Like what does he want? With Natland? What the hell? Ugh. Uh, am I dying? Oh, no. It's too soon. Ah, Aurora, it's you. What'll it be today? Oh, why the long face? Uh, don't tell me you still haven't let that go. Mm. I knew it was a bad idea to tell you. I... I heard 
Everyone wanted me to be the savior. Savior? Ha! Sounds nice, doesn't it? <laughs> but, uh, does such a person truly exist? Even if they do, why would you have to become that person? Auroron, is that you? Oh, here, have a seat. Let Granny cut you some fruit. We just got a fresh batch. Hmm. Can I get you anything else? Some grilled meatloaf, maybe? Ask for anything you want. We've got plenty of ingredients. What about those spiced rub mushrooms you made me last time, Granny Kuimi? Hmm. I feel like something bad can happen here. Ah, you liked those, did you? An outlander taught me that recipe, actually. A merchant, to be exact. Never thought about going into business yourself, my boy. My boy? You could travel all over. Hmm. Our Auroron? A merchant? He's far too honest for that line of work. Well, at least an honest merchant like him wouldn't prey on old timers like us. Hmm. Hmm. This must be his memories, right? Everyone said a true savior does not really exist, but then... Why did my birth open the door to the possibility? Hmm. Why give people false hope? Also, it's not the Tori? Wait. It's not? It sounded so much like him, though. Then again, it could be mis misremembering because it's been so long since the Samara Arkham Quest, but I swear it sounded just like him. Maybe I don't need to sacrifice myself, but surely everyone is born for a purpose. So, what's mine? Hmm. If I had succeeded back then, would the world have become a better place? Uh, what's the meaning of my existence? Uh, then again, I don't. I can't see Tatori calling anybody else commander. So yeah, it's probably somebody else. Sorry, I guess forget my forget my Tatori theory. Done spacing out, Aurora. No. Did you finish your homework? <laughs> yes, Granny. It's just. <sighs> Will learning all this really make me as strong as you? <laughs> of course not! I'm a special case. Other shamans study their whole lives without reaching a fraction of my abilities. <sighs> because you're a genius, right? <laughs> uh, you could say that. <laughs> or maybe I've just been alive longer than the rest of them, and picked up a few tricks that they didn't want to touch. Uh, <clears throat> It's rude to bring up a woman's age. <laughs> Never do that again, no matter the circumstances. I, I don't think he brought up your age, though. What? <laughs> um, I wasn't the one who brought it up. Yeah, no, yeah, he, he didn't do anything. Anyway, class is canceled tomorrow. Go have fun. What about my homework, then? Uh, do what you want. What use is it being as strong as me, anyway? You've seen how the tribe treats me. They're all afraid. I try to go about my business, and they practically tremble in fear. Not the most fun way to go about living one's life, I'd say. <sighs> Take it from me. The happiest people are the ones who do their own thing. Mm -hmm. So do what you want, Auroron. No matter what anyone else has to say. Granny didn't say it outright, but I think she was trying to comfort me. Don't force yourself. Don't beat yourself up over the past. That's what she always says, but I never forced myself. I never even got the chance to try before it was all over. Uh. Hey, you zoning out over here again? Oh There's shit! Such a thing is overwatering the radishes, you know. Wait, he, I, is it Eva gonna be? Eva's gonna be a playable character, right? Are we getting a early preview of his voice already? <laughs> I was just looking at the aphids. Oh. Something Those are the aphids. Today? Uh, I noticed some on the ground. Maybe it got too cold yesterday and they couldn't handle it. Bummer. Guess that means less honey this year. Aoife, do you think mm, being a vet is fun? Fun? I'm not sure about that. Do you think planting vegetables is fun? Wait, what is that? It's not like a cartoon drawing? Of like a vet thing? Fun enough, I guess. I don't have anything else to do. Exactly. Most oh shoot! Like that. No special purpose or calling. That's 
just how the world works. Is that what Eva looks like? If so, who? <laughs> no, I think we got a little sword in here, like a oh, banjo jab. That that's cute. That's gotta be Eva, right? Unless it's like I don't know, just a mascot for for his vet company. Hmm. Oh jeez, that troublemaker's at it again. Aurora, on my man, come inside and give me a hand, would you? Why should I? I thought being a vet was no fun. <laughs> well, I guess there is a fun part. Trying to outsmart these rascals. Come on, give me a hand. Maybe Aoife was just too nice to tell me the truth. That attempting something above your capabilities will kill you. I think you might be overreading that, Aurora, just saying. My soul is unstable. I only survived because I had people to help keep me in one piece. A part of me has always been missing. That's why the other spirit said I was close to death, but... Mm. Why struggle? It's a miracle you were even born. Just close Who the fuck are you? And wait for death. Why do you look like you're from Conria? The fuck? Goothred? Who the hell are you? It was you. The thing that came out of nowhere. Thing? I'm a warrior. Far stronger than a weakling like you. I'm not weak. There's just a limit to what I can do. And that's exactly why your fantasy is so ridiculous. You really think a useless thing like you can save the world? He is from Kanya? Okay, yeah, I, I, I guess I figured that because he has Kanya fucking attire. Useless? But what? What does a Kanya man have to do for Roron? Savior? Wait a minute. Ha! Sounds nice, doesn't it? <laughs> but, uh, uh, does such a person truly exist? Even if they do, why would you have to become that person? Hmm? Exactly. Most people live like that. No special purpose or calling. That's just how the world works. <sighs> Take it from me. The happiest people are the ones who do their own thing. So do what you want, Auroron. No matter what anyone else has to say. But I don't want things to end here. Auroron, it's all right. We'll take things from here. Oh. Every time they marched into battle. I feel like he's having his adventure read moment right now. Don't worry. With the Archon on our side, the Abyss doesn't stand a chance. All the best warriors are fighting on the front lines. I want to do my part too. Both of us are bound to disappear, but your end will come sooner than mine, because you've been broken from the start. Where did you come from? Once your soul shatters into Who even are you? and dissipates into the wind, I will take temporary control over this body. I will serve my commander until the end. Your command? Why is... Why does Kanria man know Capitano and call him commander? What? No. No, this isn't right. My life can't end like this. I, I still haven't done anything important with my life. My end will not come first, and I'm not giving up. <sighs> I can't die here. No, I won't die here. Kill him. <laughs> Aurora. Aurora. Walk into the light, Aurora. <sighs> Walk into the lights. That voice. Control your mind. Feel the ground beneath your feet. This is not your end. Mm. Oh shit. Go into the lights. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I. Hey, just see you there. Welcome back to reality. He's He's alive! <sighs> well done. You managed to do the impossible. Uh-huh. What do you mean? He took advantage of Auron's incomplete soul to possess him. Ah, I see. But where did he come from? Who is he? And why does he know Capitan? There's so many questions. Don't try to talk. Focus on holding yourself together. <sighs> well, I mean, we shut the thing down, so... Mission success? I can't believe the captain did that. Maybe he thinks of 
Moron as a comrade. <laughs> he was helping to rein him in all this time. I don't know. He doesn't seem like he values friendship that much. That's the only reason I had the chance to turn off the device. Oh, I, I'm fine now. Damage to the soul is a tricky thing. The pain almost consumed you for a moment, but you managed to hold on to yourself. That's no easy feat. The worst appears to be over. Hmm. I'm sorry for causing so much trouble. We can talk about that later. For now, what the fuck are we doing here? <laughs> Our plan. It failed, didn't it? I'm sorry. We were so close. You saved my life. And now, the debt is repaid. Auroron. Oh. I never thought you actually wanted to sacrifice yourself in that ceremony. But you never gave up. Have you come to a conclusion on what it is that you truly want? I just want an answer. A reason why. And no one should be treated like one from birth. I had a chance to do something important back then, but I failed. All I want is to find some more ways to make up for that. The answer you seek now lies before you. Yeah. <gasps> oh, shit. He gets an ancient name? Oh, fuck. <gasps> you are the inheritor of my name. The hero oh, shit. And the masters of the Nightwind who shall fight for this generation. Yo, we got a hero. <gasps> what? <laughs> Fascinating. You're not the person that the others thought you were. And yet... You're also not the kind of person that you thought you were. Oh, shit. <laughs> it can take a lifetime to truly discover who we really are. Oh, I gotta say, I love the music I place here. Like you, I never thought I had what it took to be a hero. I was too cunning, too self-absorbed. But in the end, I sacrificed my life for this nation. Now... Remember. Oh shit. We now have the fifth hero of this era. That's one more to go, right? Yo, okay. <sighs> uh. I am happy to see your plan advance one step further. What the fuck? It seems that my cry did not cause irreversible damage. Who? What the? Oh, so why is there three Seelies just dancing around? Who's speaking? What? Uh, what is that voice? Just as I thought. The Lord of the Night has awakened. Oh, shit. That's the Lord of the Night's voice? The Lord of the Night? As in the one who rules over the Night Kingdom? I preside over a realm of souls. Due to my limited power, sleep is the only way I can extend my existence. Uh, <laughs> you're... I'm like, how? Do I say that? I'm just going. I'm just gonna call you all the night. I'm not even. Gonna, I'm not gonna try. I'll try once. Yo, let's kuntin. I probably butchered that, but I try attempted it. When you activated the device, I awoke and could not hold back my cry. It is a sound that agitates souls. Oh. Most of you are unaffected because your souls are intact. But, with a damaged soul, the effect on your friend was heightened, and his soul almost shattered as a result. Oh, so that was that noise. Her crying, okay. And yet, his soul remains in one piece. Uh... He managed to this obstacle through sheer strength of will. A truly impressive feat for a human. So, was that what caused all his strange behavior earlier? No. An additional soul was affected. Oh. It tried to take refuge in the missing part of your friend's soul, but was ultimately expelled. However, this soul does not hail from that land or the Night Kingdom. Hmm. Its origins remain a mystery to me. Be some Conria. Hmm. Activating the source mechanism was supposed to reconstruct the ley lines. 
Why did it awaken you instead? Because I was the one who originally constructed Natland's Ley Lines. Oh. Otherwise known as the Night Kingdom. But the Night Kingdom is Natland's Ley Lines? What? The ancient battle between the Descender and the Dragons destroyed the corner of the world, allowing the Abyss to invade. Natland's Ley Lines took the worst of the damage. To aid the people of Natland, the Lord of the Night used the fragments of the old Ley Lines to reconstruct a similar network. That's how the Night Kingdom was born. I had no idea this whole time that the... What? The Night Kingdom is Natland's Ley Lines. What? I thought they were like something else entirely. <laughs> the first Pyro Archon, Shibalonke, strengthened that realm and established the rules that aid our fight against the Abyss. The Ode of Resurrection and the Pilgrimage, both of which are practices that survive to this day. Oh, right. You said before it all came from the power of the heavens. The ancient dragons tried to use this device to strengthen the ley lines oh. by imbuing them with power. Back then, this method was rather ineffective. They lacked the skills to navigate the intricate structure of the ley lines. And now, the structure of the ley lines has also completely changed. I am the only possible vehicle for the power generated by the device. It was an incredibly crude and painful method, but I managed to absorb some of that power. Now, I can speak to you like this and provide you with aid, such as rebuilding the ley lines once more at the cost of my own existence. Oh, shoot. But why would you make that kind of sacrifice? The people of Natlan worship me and call me their lord. In the ancient past, before we died out, we were also known by a different name. Angels. Oh, angels, okay. But adventurers Great. like you are probably more familiar with our devolved form. Oh, shoot. Seelies. So Seelies are angels? What? No wonder there are Seelies around here. A Seelie also helped us in the Night Kingdom! Oh yeah, you're right! So, wait, so this whole time we've been guiding angels just back to their posts? <laughs> and and the so-called angels cause problems for us by going around in circles all the same time? Few angels remain in that land. Hmm. So the same is true of Seelies. Everyone rallied around me and offered their power to humanity to reconstruct the ley lines. So once again, are, wait, are all the Seelies like angels? Even the Electro ones and the, the Pyro ones? Hmm. Now, I have witnessed your determined pursuit for survival, and I have become your faith. I am very pleased. Moika, inheritor of Shibalonke's will and leader of Naplan. Despite all the obstacles and misunderstandings, I have awoken. And the efforts of this harbinger and the young hero have imbued me with power. Okay, I guess maybe Capitano did something good after all. Say the word. And I will once again work to fulfill my mandate. Just as I did thousands of years ago. You need only nod your head. For the sake of your people and your nation. For the sake of overcoming the invasion from the Abyss. Mm. Give me your orders. I will not. Oh. After reconstructing new ley lines, you will cease to exist. The rules of Natlan are founded in the Night Kingdom. If you disappear, so do they. Not to mention, all the memories and legends recorded within the old ley lines will disappear along with you. Oh, true. The people yeah. of Natlan will face memory loss, mental disorders, and cognitive issues. Just like the consequences of using the Gnosis, that is a price I refuse to accept. Humanity's survival is worth any price. Once the Abyss runs rampant, all that remains will be a land of corpses and ruin. And when the new ley lines are invaded again by the Abyss? What then? How are future generations supposed to survive? A land without the Lord of the Night without the protection of the rules, is doomed from the start. Ah, shoot. You presume too much. If you cannot ensure survival in the present, you have no right to think about the future. What will it take for you to realize that? 
How many hundreds or thousands will have to die? The situation hasn't gotten that dire yet, has it? Why are you so pessimistic about the situation? <laughs> Share what you know. Why? Because oh shit! I'm a survivor of Conria. I've witnessed the devastation and terror of the abyss with my own eyes. No wonder that fucker was calling you commander. What? I, I thought you were Natlin native the whole time. Wait, if you're from Conria, why are you against the abyss? Wait. Oh fuck. <laughs> the fucking lore bomb. I wasn't expecting that. What? <sighs> I guess. Mm. Maybe, maybe this could have been figured out beforehand. Like, he's the oldest out of almost all the, like, yeah, out of all the Harbingers. Well, not the oldest, but, you know, the strongest. And has lived for so long. <laughs> hmm. So both him and Piero are Conrian kind of survivors. Oh, shit. And Dane's left, too. Shit. So, so there may be a lot more Conrian kind of survivors than we might realize. Conrian? That's right. My family. My comrades, my homeland, were all lost to the abyss. It is an unforgettable pain, one that no amount of time could ever dull, not even 500 years. You've experienced something similar, Mawika. You should know exactly what I mean. Oh, yep, the, uh, Balkanria. You're right. The pain, the regret, the catastrophe. They all haunt my dreams to this day. If I could go back, I would reject all false hope. I would do whatever it took to ensure their survival. Hmm. You have that chance before you now. Why do you refuse to take it? Because we don't have the right to make that decision. We love this world because it contains everything we hold dear. Everything that has happened here has moved us, shaped us, and turned us into who we are today. Giving up our memories and history would mean rewriting everything. The people of this world would then become fundamentally different beings, their physical bodies the only connection to their former selves. Even so, given enough time, a new civilization would inevitably flourish. If you believe in humanity, mm. you should trust in their ability to create a new future. I gotta say, this conflict is really, really engaging, I gotta say. <laughs> like, just real quick, because... God, because neither side is wrong in this in this instance. Like, there's no right answer to this. Like, Capitano's like, uh, like yeah, points are valid, and but so is Mawika's. It's really engaging. <laughs> or history could repeat itself. The abyss could invade once more, and it would all be for nothing. Again, like yeah, both really good points. Abyss and abyss to order are different things. Yeah, but my bad. Can I say something? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the man who literally just got uh, announced as a hero just seconds ago. Yeah, please. I once carried the hopes of many people, and I was also desperate to save our nation. In the captain's plan, I saw a chance to ensure our survival. But as I was on the brink of death, my wish for life and purpose was rekindled. I've been very fortunate to be well cared for by all the people in my life. I refuse to forget that. My feelings were so strong, they overrode my compulsion to sacrifice myself for their safety. No matter what path lies before us, we still have a destination. If we lose our way now, we will lose the meaning of our existence. Hmm. That's right. Natland's heroes gave their lives so we could have this chance against the Abyss. Their sacrifices are our blessings. Not only are their deeds and spirits exceptionally meaningful, they may also well be our path to victory. I don't want to give up just yet. Yeah, we're just one hero short! The power from the device will allow me to remain awake for some time. Mm. I stand at the ready should you change your mind. And just to be sure, like, yeah, Capitano can't make the decision, right? It, it, it can only be Mawika. Even if you fail, you need only some someone. My offer still stands. <laughs> Mawika and Capitan are like dad, mom and dad arguing. And Aron is like the kid just like, um, can I say something? <laughs> it really do be like that in this situation. 
It's like, oh god, mom and dad are arguing again. Which, speaking of which, <laughs> I, I see a lot of people in ship Capitano and Mauica together. I can kind of see why. <laughs> it's really she funny. Is truly remarkable. Even the gods in the heavens hold you to be special. Even now, you stand before me, dazzling, like the sun. Like the sun. You must have a profound connection to this land since you're so determined to save it. But what are you really trying to protect? The land or its people? Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, one more thing, too. Like, why does Capitano want to protect Nalan so badly? Like, why this region in particular? Hmm. If you're Kadri native, you have nothing to do with Nalan. Unless... Pretty sure he wants to hear what you have to say, Traveler. What about you? I want to win. What about you? Fine. Chair. I suppose we can wait. Now that Auroron has inherited the memories of his forebear, there's only one hero left. Mm. Your plan does have the potential to generate the best outcome. In the meantime, you shall have the aid of all the Fatui under my command. Yo! <laughs> Alright, we're allies now, yes! Thank you. Having such a powerful harbinger on my side is a big advantage. I know we may never completely see eye to eye on what it means to protect life, but for now, I'm willing to fight by your side. Yo! Alright, Capitan, I'll go for the bro fist. Go for it. Yeah! All right, we should uh, let everyone else know about the plan. They're probably still at each other's throats outside. Oh yeah, by the way, we're kind of killing your um, <laughs> your men outside. We should probably stop that. Good idea. We need to explain the situation. I have a few more questions for the Lord of the Night. Oh, guess we'll stick around then. I'll update everyone outside. Let's meet back up at the stadium. Okay. Well. Yo, I'm not gonna try to pronounce that. Can I actually like guide this this Sealy back to where it's uh, meant to be? No, it's like I think it's just kind of meant here for like background. All right. All right. You come to me with many questions. Ooh, shit. And you should be rewarded for your bravery. Ask, and you shall have the knowledge you seek. Wait, is this the end of the Arkham Quest? No, no way, right? No, no, way, no way that's the, just the end of Act 4. Just an hour long. Hmm. But the power of the heavens, Luma Phage, Elemental, and, and the Abyss. My ancient name. They do not like being mentioned by name by any living being. Ooh. Be it an ordinary human or one of the seven. They prefer to remain in the shadows as shades. Shades? The one you wish to know about? Oh. I call her the ruler of death. She helped Naplan establish the rules. It was also under her guidance that I created the Night Kingdom. The ruler of death? Wait. It was an expression of love, as well as an act of reparation. She was seen as having significantly overstepped her authorities as a shade, which oh. pleased the Almighty. Heavenly principles. Oh shit. How the heavens do you not like me mention my name? And the one oh shit. Did we finally get a title for the uh for the one at the beginning of the game? The eight the ruler of death? Is that the one that took away our sibling at the beginning? Huh. This expression? Oh wait, no, 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 it wasn't. No, no, no. Wait, is it? I, I don't know. No, no, okay, that's somebody different. Never mind. I think of somebody else. She, she, she's talking about somebody else. Hmm. She succumbed to self pity as a result, and no longer cared if others discussed her identity. Even so, her existence remains unknown to all but a select few. Self pity. Hmm. Wait, Papa, why you echoed? Please don't tell anyone I use that word. Hmm. I'm just trying to speak plainly to conserve energy. Um, you got it. You come to me with many questions. Interesting. And you should be rewarded for your bravery. The shade of death, As one of... And you shall have the knowledge you seek. 
The Shade of Death, one of the four shades of the Primordial One. Oh, shoot. Okay, so we're talking somebody big here. Ah, oh, okay. So yeah, not... So this Shade of Death apparently pissed off or displeased Heavenly Principles. And what else? I want to read that again. Hmm. Because I'm the self pity as a result, no longer cared if others discussed her identity. Her existence remains unknown to all but a select few. And she also established the rules of Natland. And helps, uh... Help the Lord of Night create... The Night Kingdom. Huh. I feel like that's like massive stuff like <laughs> that should not be skipped at all. <laughs> like jeez, if you if you just proceed on, you're just gonna miss out on a lot of lore. Like jeez. Oh, okay, and then about the Luma Fade. I'm not familiar with that concept. Hmm. The device is capable of weaving and creating ley lines, you say? Yeah, it's also the thing that made me see my brother, but not really. <laughs> Forget about it. Even I cannot create something from nothing. I can only reconstruct the ley lines by reassembling the yet intact components into a new structure. Hmm. If that power were available to the people of Natlan, they might have a new option against the Abyss. Hmm. You come to me with many questions. And Unfortunately, it's gone now with, um... Bravery. What's his name? Ask, and you shall have the knowledge you seek. Uh, it starts with a... What, what was his name again? Uh, the uh, hmm. The guy with Lumafate powers. I I forgot what what his name was, but yeah, him. It unfortunately, yeah, Lumafate is gone along with him, so we can't use it anymore. Uh, but elemental energy and the abyss. Phlogiston is to that primordial form of energy. The heavenly principles used phlogiston as a basis for the creation of elemental energy. Huh, to okay. The power to better counter the abyss. Have you heard of the concepts of the light realm and the human realm? Uh, yep. Mm. That explanation might take too long. Don't worry, a bit the economy, uh, I, I think I'm somewhat familiar with it, even though it's been quite a while and I might need a refresher. Light refracts into seven different colors, which we collectively refer to as a rainbow. Elemental energy Carry is bear, a that's the concept. Thank you. It's essentially the modern counterpart of phlogiston. Huh, okay. And that seven different colors reflect the seven different elements? You come to me with many questions. Hmm. And you should be rewarded for your bravery. Jeez. <laughs> Ask. I was. You shall have the knowledge you seek. I did not expect this, like, me, the Lord Knight, here and having this all this lore dump just right now. It's like yeah, we're only like an hour into the into Act Four. It's like, whoa, <laughs> what more shit is gonna be in this quest? Okay, and then uh, about my ancient name. Ah, yes, yes. The artisan from the Children of Echoes has yet to mention the matter to me. Probably because the young girl from the Masters of the Nightwind is absent. But the young girl from the, you're not referring to Sit Lolly, are you? No matter. I'll reach out in a dream and tell them what needs to be done. Young girl? Uh... <laughs> you mean Granny? What? Did I say something wrong? <laughs> um... She may not be so young anymore. <laughs> you come to me with many questions. <laughs> and you should be rewarded for your bravery. In, in and a nutshell... And you shall have the knowledge you seek. In a nutshell, phlogiston... It's the fossil fuel, and the elemental energy is the renewable energy of that. Yeah, that, that's pretty much what I got from that as well. Hmm. You mean Granny Marchie? <laughs> I love that, like, yeah, her and March are the same VA, but they sound pretty different from each other. Oh, man. Okay, and I have no more questions. What a huge fucking lord of I gotta take that all in. Depart the remnants of the secret source. Oh. You come to me. Oh no, I gotta questions. leave. Okay. <laughs> That's what that means. Alrighty, um. Do I. Oh, I exit out that way. Okay. Alright. Thanks for talking and lore dumping on me, uh, Lord of Night. Bye. We'll be back if, uh, if our other plan fails, which hopefully it won't. Hmm. 
Ow. What a... <laughs> and now these guys are just standing here like we're friends now. Hey, what's up? The captain says a group of us need to stay behind to guard the source mechanism. It's extremely important. By the way, fuck you. We'll stay here. <laughs> By the way, fuck you for that ambush. That was not fun. It was not fun being rained on by that fucking pixelated dragon or whatever. Of course, you're free to come and go as you please. Oh, thanks. Can I really... Oh, pfft, liar. I can't go back in. Unless I can only go back from the entrance that I made initially. Okay. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to take a moment to take all this in. That's so much lore I need to like... Like, take down, because it might, like, be referenced in the next Arkham Quest. Okay. Return to Speaker's Chambers, and yay, Capitano's on our site now. In that case, allow me to formally welcome the Fatui to our cause. We now face a common enemy. It's time to put our differences behind us and look to the future. As for Auroron, his actions may have been out of line, but I don't intend to punish him right now. I'd rather give him a chance to prove himself. <laughs> and I'm wondering what we'll see. How will Saint Lali re reacts to Aurora and getting uh, the hero's name? He <laughs> should be like pissed. <laughs> a magnanimous decision. We're back. Whoa! Seeing the two of you chatting like this, <laughs> Iman almost feels like she's dreaming. <laughs> They're striking numbers. I feel better about our chances. This may be an unexpected outcome, but a favorable one nonetheless. Now that we're all here, I have some questions of my own. Hmm. Tell me, how did you discover the source mechanism? We weren't getting any closer to obtaining the Gnosis, so I had my men scour Natland for a different option. Auroron helped as well. We tracked down three scholars, Aberawa, Bosomtwe, oh. and Kushtal, and combined the results of their research to locate this ancient device. Okay. <sighs> I've never heard those names before. Neither have I, nor will I know how to pronounce them. Seems like my own investigation failed to locate some critical personnel. I'm just not sure how I missed them. Strange. Perhaps they simply live in seclusion. In any case, their results speak for themselves. Hmm. That's true. Now we have another option at our disposal. Compared to using the Gnosis, our current plan will buy us some time. And if all else fails, we still have this plan as a last resort. Even though executing it will come at a heavy cost. But that means making everyone forget their past! We should definitely try to avoid it if we can! Yeah, plus we have only like one hero left, so... Whoever that might be, uh, we should get them sooner or later. Oh, uh, actually, speaking of the Gnosis, how did you know what it could do? Yeah, how do you know what the, what the Gnosis can do? <laughs> That story begins with the Cataclysm 500 years ago. Ooh. Story time? I failed to save Conria from the rampage of the Abyss when the situation became unsalvageable. Oh. I fled to Natlan with the remainder of my platoon. Okay. Only to find that Natlan had fallen victim to the same tragedy. I defended this land for quite some time and, in the process, oh. met the chief of the masters of the Nightwind, Aizu. I'm sure many people viewed Conria as the cause of the tragedy. But Aizu was kind to me all the same, and even helped me in my time of need. From that moment, I made it my mission to aid Natlan. Uh. In battle, a warrior fights to win. Even though my homeland was lost, I was already committed to this fight. Okay. But then how did you get entang entangled with the Fatui? Together, I guess Pierre must have sought him out or something. Many battles and overcame countless hardships. However, he was unable to escape his fate, and in his final moments, told me the secret of the Gnosis. Oh, okay. So it was him. He recommended using the Gnosis on several occasions, even before the tragedy. But I turned him down each time. You knew him, and you fought for Natlan all those years ago. Why don't I recognize you? Uh, because I'm wearing a mask now and a helmet. You can't see my face. <laughs> it must be the mask. Yeah, duh. <laughs> Even without the mask, my past appearance is long gone. 
Even with the curse of immortality, yeah. the flesh still rots. The flesh still rots? Then how does... How does Dane's of fucking maintain his, like, stellar appearance? Like, what? Like, how does your flesh rot while his skin looks like he could be, like, the next fucking fashion model? Wait, do you know someone named Dainsliff? Yeah. That problem doesn't seem quite so... extreme for him. You've met him already? Oh, uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's our buddy. Yeah, a bunch of times. Sounds like you know him, too. During the age of Conria, all I knew was his name. Huh. The last time I saw him in person, he was traveling with the prince. The prince? Wait, Kaya? He carries a degree of pain and hatred that far surpasses my own. Back then, you said you didn't want to fight me. Was it really because of my sibling? Yes. You're the sister of the Oh, prince. no, prince. Given the role I held in Conria. Right. I would prefer not to harm you. Although, this is likely a self-imposed burden. Hmm. If the prince saw me now, I doubt he would even recognize me. As for your question, I don't know how Dane managed to slow the deterioration of his body. Hmm. My appearance is much changed. And that's not the only thing. Even my physical strength is a shadow of what it once was. I would have never known. During our battle, it felt like I was fighting against the pinnacle of human strength. <laughs> and I still lost. I deserve no praise for that outcome. Hmm. Either yeah, either Jane has found a way to like maintain his like appearance, or he has a different form of the curse. Yeah. I feel like that, that might be what's going on. Maybe. We're gonna have to ask the man himself. N man, now I really want Dane and Capitano to like meet again. Still, it's a shame we never faced off 500 years ago. <laughs> you could have seen what I was truly capable of. I agree. Had we fought then, I'd also have been more motivated to go all out. So, all that commotion back at the stadium, and you're saying neither of you were using your full strength? <laughs> I mean, they didn't want to destroy the building, so. Uh. <laughs> I'd say we're evenly matched. If we face off again, victory will come down to who wants it more. I imagine you held back since there were spectators around that could have gotten hurt. But capitalizing on that situation would have only led to a hollow victory. Yeah. It would have been no different than taking hostages. My goal was the Gnosis, and I failed to obtain it. That means I lost. Plain and simple. Oh. Oh, yeah. But the Gnosis, what are you going to tell the Tsaritsa? Her Majesty, the Tsaritsa, allows every harbinger the freedom to pursue the meaning of their existence. When the time comes, that freedom can take precedence over her orders. Hmm. That's why our methods can be so radically different, despite sharing the same goal and the same sovereign. Huh. I'm guessing that's why each harbinger has like their own different methods of like acquiring the Gnosis. Hmm. I needed the Gnosis because I came here to save Natlan. That was my primary motive. Once Natlan is saved, if the Gnosis still remained in my possession, I could bring it back to Snezhnaya. Uh, okay, that makes sense. This is the first time Dane was mentioned in a major arc quest that isn't a Dane quest, right? Yeah, it was. I think it is. I don't think we mentioned Dane's Lift anywhere in the other Arkham quests that are not directly Dane quests. I don't think so. Not that I remember. My decision regarding the Gnosis will not change. So let's focus on the Abyss for now. Right! I... What happens when all six heroes are together? They'll probably unleash some kind of power. The heavens were mentioned earlier. Anything to do with that? We will unleash a great power that can be used to thwart the Abyss. But only once. It's a power that Shibalanke gained from Renova. Hmm. Renova is a god whose existence predates any Archon. Oh. You can think of her like an emissary of the heavenly principles. She controls the power of death. Oh. Wait, is that why you have the Ode of Resurrection? Yes. Renova also orchestrated Natlan's rules. Is that? Wait. As for the Divine Throne... Isn't that what the, the Lord of Night literally just told us? Like I said before, when a human ascends to the Divine Throne, their inner flame will awaken. The size of the flame depends on the person's potential. 
Hmm. The same principle applies to the ruler of death's power. With one notable distinction. The amount of power inherited will not change depending on your ability to tolerate it. Okay, so the rule of death... Okay, that she was talking about was the same one. Okay, so her name's Renova. Okay. There's also the truth about... Oh yeah, the Gnosis is being remnants of the third descender. And I think Malvika has an inkling that she knows. She might, honestly. She might. Considering she... Has like all these dealings with the other archons and whatnot, and that those archons like go even further back to even more aged archons. She has to know, hmm, or has to know at least some parts about it. In other words, it's a kind of power that not everyone can withstand. But if you survive the trial, you will gain unprecedented strength and the ability to harness powers more formidable than any archon. Hmm. That still sounds really risky. We cannot walk this path without accepting risk. Mualani charged into the Night Kingdom despite the abyssal contamination. Auroron fought back from the brink of death. In the face of their bravery, I must respond in kind. That is my duty. Spoken like a true leader. <sighs> All right, that's enough for one day. You should head back and get some rest. I'm sure you're exhausted. The Abyss will likely sense the change in Auroron. It's possible the frequency of the attacks will increase. There are mm. many challenges to come, so we need to be prepared. When you put it that way, Paimon feels even more exhausted. Yeah, this, this, these archivists are getting more and more... Like, the stakes are getting higher. Uh, Alright, well, let's head back. Alright. Can I talk to you two first? Now that we're working together, we'll need to coordinate our efforts. I'll leave a portion of my forces for you to command. That will definitely help relieve some pressure. You're sure they won't object? It's an order. I will make that clear. Excellent. I appreciate your trust. <laughs> Mom, Dad, it's my turn on the Xbox. <laughs> That's why I could have just imagined Lou being in that situation. <laughs> uh, okay, but now it's time for us to go. Oh boy. One more year remains. Hmm. And yeah, also that Angel of Death kind of thing. Hmm. I wonder if that's going to come into play maybe in Act 6 or... No, but Act 5 and 6 maybe. Hmm. Also, I just see that Molani is uh, very, very much hurt. <laughs> Let's go and uh, patch her up real quick. Hey, Speaking of Molani, hey, there she is. <sighs> that hurts. Oops. Oh, right. Uh, gotta do my best Kachini impression. Stay still. Your wound needs time to heal. You need to rest for a few more days. The monsters keep increasing in number. It's like something changed. It's definitely unusual, and we should all be careful. But don't worry too much. You have us by your side. If there's one thing the Abyss fears, it's strength. If they think we're easy prey, they've got another thing coming. Someone's calling us. Coming, coming. Hmm. Uh, something wrong, traveler? Just feeling a like dread is getting stronger. We really have to wait for the final hero to appear. I guess so. Who could the final hero be, actually? Okay, so let's recap the heroes we have so far. We have Kinich Molani, Shilonen, uh. Auroron and um who's the other one? Was it Chaska? No 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 is it I don't think yeah, I don't think it's immediately obvious who's gonna be the, the next hero. Yeah, who are the ones we have out right now? Molani, Kinich, uh Zilanen, Auroron, and who's the fifth one? Was it Jessica? I, I, I'm having trouble mis like remembering if it is her or not. Oh, it's Ian-san. Ian san okay. I, I thought it was Chaska for some reason. Okay, no, Ian san Okay, so... Hmm. So we, have a, uh, we have a bunch of candidates that could be the final hero. So, Chaska could be one of them. See, Lolly could be one of them. Fuck, maybe the Traveler could be one of them, or maybe Capitano, if we're gonna stretch it that far. What other characters have we not... Hmm. 
we don't know of yet. Like, we know of that uh, could potentially be one of the heroes of the tribes. Actually, wait, no, it has to come from the tribe, so I, I don't think the Traveler and Capitano will count. So, hmm. It's potentially Chaska or... Uh, or Seat Lali. Although, wait, no, because doesn't each tribe member come from a different tribe? Because, yeah, Moalani is from the, uh, the Water Clan. Uh, Kinich is from the Scions. Uh, Jilon is from the Children of Echoes. Uh, Aurora's from the Masters of the Night Wind. Iansan, okay, it's probably Chaska. <laughs> it's probably Chaska, right? Probably. Yeah. The Flower Tribe has yet to have one. True, and is, um... I could I could swear like is Chaska the uh Need a surfboard? Yeah, is Chaska the part of the Flower Clan, I think. Hmm, maybe. Also, yeah, we have optional stuffs we can do here. I'm guessing to check up on our buddies. Need a surfboard? Uh yeah, let's do that before we turn in for the night, but Hmm, it's I guess very possible that it could be her. Chaska is from the Flower Feather Clan. Yeah, it, I think it might be her. <laughs> Unless we can get a, like a new character entirely from that same clan. Yeah, I, I, it's gotta be Chaska, right? Yeah. Hey, G Lennon. Ah, nope. We can't give any of these to our soldiers. They were not tempered correctly at the forge. Hmm. Well made weapons and shields are vital for the survival of our people. I know we're under a lot of pressure, but we can't compromise on quality. Listen, I'm, I'm not blaming you. I know this isn't your usual standard of work. Why don't why don't you all just take a break and I'll take care of the pieces. Oh yeah, that's Aoife too, but we considering he doesn't have a model and it's not showing up at any of the promotional works, I I'm assuming he's not gonna be like playable until like after the Arkham Quest. Kinda like you know, like Kave was. Like, he's a character like that 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 exists, but he won't be, you know, playable until like after we solve everything. Nothing I can't handle. Just uh, some rushed, defective goods, that's all. Even the most skilled mm. craftsmen make mistakes under pressure, and if you two want to avoid the same fate, you should really get some rest. You must be exhausted, too. <laughs> ah, don't worry. I like it that way. You know, honestly, I feel like, like, considering that everybody's saying that, like, they're under attack by the Abyss, I don't know, part of me feels like that maybe there should be more Abyss enemies that spawn around, like the, uh, around Natland. Like, maybe temporarily, until, like, you finish the entire Arkham quest. I know it might be maybe, like, uh, annoying to do, and, like, to spawn in all those enemies, but I don't know, maybe to, like, I don't know, uh, give environmental storytelling that, yeah, Natland is under a lot of, a lot of pressure from the Abyss. Because, yeah, they just tell us about it, we don't really actually see it in action. Like, that'd be really, really cool to get you to do that. But okay, uh, before we uh, turn in, let's go see our other friends, which I'm gonna assume we, that's Keenich over there. All right. We. Keenich, you here? Yep, there you are. Alright, you're gonna be on voice, so. Oh, these must be friends of yours. Well, I'll head out then. <laughs> See you later. <clears throat> okay. Gotta do my best Keenish impression. Wait, Ahas not voice too? Okay, fuck. I'm not sure how I'm gonna voice him. Ah! It was a piece of cake! Those investor pests are lucky someone called a truce or we would have burned them all to ashes. <laughs> I appreciate the concern, Paimon. Despite Ahas' description, the situation wasn't quite so smooth. The captain's forces are elite, all elite warriors. It was a tough fight. It, we were prepared to retreat any moment, and now the Pirate Archon and the captain are working together. Not the outcome I was expecting, that's for sure. Yeah, a lot happened while we were in the ruin. We'll tell you about it some other time. Well, at least the Pirate Archon's plan advanced a step further. This is the best outcome we could have hoped for. We really appreciate all your help. But we have to keep pushing forward. 
She, uh, Sibu and I were just about to head out, actually. My tribe's calling for messengers. We won't keep you then. Let's talk later. Oh, the Kadich thinks he can just leave up consulting the almighty dragon Kahul. Uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. Hey, wait up. <laughs> I, I had a stroke halfway through that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Ahaw's not easy the voice. Jeez. Props to props to his VA. It's not easy making that high pitch of a voice. Okay. Um I don't think there's any more optional objectives around. Yeah, it seems like there's nothing else. Uh yep. Oh, take a look around the weary inn optional. Okay, I guess. These guys? No. Maybe maybe a look around inside of it. I fear the severe event will be on voice too. Yeah, I've I've heard. Apparently, um, I'll repeat this once more for you guys who haven't heard it. Um, for the severe event that's coming up, apparently all the characters are unvoiced except for Sino and Paimon. So thus, just those two. Like, oh yeah. Apparently only, like, um... Yeah, apparently, like, uh, Sayu and Karina are, like, just, like... Yeah, not gonna be part of the strike. And will be only... The only characters voiced in the Sumeru events. Yeah, it's... It's the event that's coming out soon. Uh, for when we return to Sumeru. So, I think when that happens, I think I'm gonna switch your voices to Japanese. Because that's just gonna be, like, so many characters on voice. I'm not gonna take the effort to voice all of them. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I think, like, when that event rolls around, I'll, I'll like, put on the Japanese voices and whatnot. How am I gonna get because she transferred to another studio for Alejandro IDK? Yeah, I think Alejandro is, like, kind of unaffected as a whole. Or maybe... Uh, I actually, I don't know what's going on with him, but, yeah. The voice actor studio, we're trying to replace all the voice actors with AI. Um... Yeah, it's, get, it's getting under fire now from the uh, VAs, so hence why the strike's happening. And yeah, here's hoping uh, the strike is successful, because I don't want to hear fucking AI voices in Genshin. No thanking. No, no thank you. Actually, no AI voices in any game in general. Like, fuck off with that. Okay, but anyways. Let's get in there. Aurora. Oh, pfft. <laughs> Why do I have the feeling I see you two here? Granny? Uh... I... got an ancient name? <sighs> What's wrong, Granny? It looks like you have something to say. <laughs> you know exactly what you did! You need some sense knocked into you, that's what I think! Now, where do I even begin? <sighs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Now that you have nowhere to run, that's <laughs> when you apologize? You couldn't wait to run off last time, and the time before that. Uh, pretty sure I apologized those times too. <laughs> Shut up! What exactly were you thinking? Being a wanted criminal is one thing, but then you also tried to pull off that whole thing in the ancient ruin. <sighs> I'm not the one who needs an apology. Apologize to yourself for risking your life. Okay. I'm sorry. <sighs> <laughs> me sorry to myself. <laughs> I don't have anything to say for myself, Granny. Yell at me all you want. I know I messed up. You better be sincere. This is an incredibly serious matter. I'm being sincere, I promise. I've seriously reflected on my actions. <laughs> I know what I did was risky, and I know I made some bad choices. But I don't regret it. I just had to do something. Not because I thought I was special, but because I wanted to help Natlan as much as I can. Of course, in the end, I just ended up causing more trouble, so you're right. My apology doesn't mean much, but I don't know what else I can say. I mean, no, it didn't result in nothing. You got your, we got another hero after all in you. You even had Aoife bring me that gem. A simple thank you isn't enough, but still, Thank you, Granny. Ah, <sighs> you're welcome. Just make sure to thank Aoife sometime. Hmm. I will. Uh, anyway, don't feel
feel too grateful. <laughs> I tampered with the bag to copy a portion of your memories. Oh, I didn't notice. He's not bothered by it. <laughs> of course you didn't. You forget how many years I have on you. Like you could uncover one of my tricks. Ugh, anyway, I have something else to tell you. Huh? The Pyro Archon has discussed your case with the others. Many of your actions violated the rules of Natlan. And you should understand you'll have to take responsibility for that. I understand. But... your efforts weren't entirely meaningless in the end. In addition to giving us another failsafe, you saved yourself with sheer force of will and managed to become a hero. Yeah, so it wasn't all bad, even though he did a few bad things along the way. <laughs> <laughs> Not too shabby, grandson. Did the Traveler in Paimon tell you to say that? Eh. What? No! I said that because I mean it! I can't believe you're complimenting me at a time like this. <laughs> you normally let your fist do the talking. Uh, you're not off the hook just yet. I told the Traveler I was going to break your legs. No. Oh. And I meant every part of it. Hey, can this wait till after we say that one? <laughs> Could you not? <laughs> I still need them to walk. No. Hmm, trying to negotiate, are you? All right. Make me an offer. You could break my... I don't know. My nose? <laughs> Given all <laughs> the good things that I managed to accomplish, can you let me off the hook this one time? I promise to do better in the future. <sighs> Fine. I can let this slide for now. But I'll be watching. <laughs> we'll see if I change my mind. Oh, a Traveler, Paimon. Didn't expect to see you here. Yeah, hey, we kind of just watched you from the sidelines the whole time. Hello! <laughs> uh, talking out things with your grandson? Yes. Uh, looking after these little rascals is rather exhausting. Taking care of the Traveler isn't easy either. What? Paimon's life is an uphill battle. What the fuck you mean? Traveler, Paimon, I want to thank you for your help back at the Ruin. It's nothing. Just don't do anything like that ever again, please. I won't. Let's get together sometime. If Auroron really wants to thank you, oh boy. he can treat us all to a tasty meal. How rich are all you knights, wins people? Sounds great. We'll be there. All right. Oh, okay. They're not here anymore. Okay, that should be all the optional objectives done, right? Yeah. Okay. Now we can finally go and rest up. Where the stairs at? I forgot. There they are. <laughs> okay. Uh, Forbosa, Sublime. Yeah, it, it's the voice acting studio that's to blame for this, not Hoya themselves. All hundred is independent, but he still works in uh, Unison. Oh, I see. So that's why he's not affected. I see. At least a lot is not like Mona. Yeah. <laughs> I really do like Lolly's like personality wise. Like she she's great. I can't wait for it to like be released soon. Oh, hopefully soon. <laughs> hopefully in uh five point three or something. But okay, let's uh hit the hay. Alright. Rest up easy. If you're done for the day, we should get some rest. Paimon has a feeling we'll need it for tomorrow. Let's let's rest. At night. Huh? You ready? Oh. Oh, the Forge Mansion name? Yep. Let's go meet the Lord of the Night. Oh, shoot. So, this is where you heard the Lord of the Night? Guess that means she really has awakened. Hmm. Oh, yep. Yeah, but Sino's, like, on the other hand, like, yeah, he won't stream any of the Hoya games until, like, the strike's over, yeah. Hopefully we made it before she falls asleep again. Fret not. I am still here. For a weak life form, falling asleep is no less taxing an exercise than staying awake. I, I'm sorry for disturbing your rest, but there's something we didn't have the chance to ask you earlier. We need to forge a new ancient name for the Traveler. But we ran into a problem. She's not from Natland, so there are no records of her in the Night Kingdom. Mm. I see. Mawika must hold her in high regard. 
It would seem the two of you are not simply here on her orders. So, what say you? What say you? Do you believe this traveler to be deserving? Mm-hmm. Uh. Speak your mind. There are no others here. You are both my children. Both children of Natlan. I would hear your opinions on the matter. She is special. She saved Kachina and devoted herself to helping us avert this disaster. Natlan owes her a debt. But that debt has not been repaid. Mm -hmm. And with an ancient name, we can at least guarantee her safety. Even though that guarantee will come at the cost of your own life? Uh, wait, what? Yes. So, it's oh. true. Forging an ancient name consumes the life of the craftsman. Wait, what? No, no, she let it. Don't die. Please, no. Forging an ancient name is an act of creation. I don't need an ancient name that badly. It involves taking disparate concepts throughout the Night Kingdom and condensing them into a heroic epic. But it takes time for the new concept to be integrated into that realm. If the ancient name is like a seed, then the life of the craftsman is the outer shell, serving as its protection. Once that process mm. is complete, the seed will sprout, and having served its purpose, the outer shell will gradually disappear. Forging an ancient name is no easy task, and creating one for an outlander makes it even more challenging. Still, if you're here, that means your mind is set. Oh fuck, that, that, it doesn't literally mean consume her life, right? Yes, because I believe forging this name will be well worth it. No, we, we, we need you, don't we? You're one of the heroes of Natlan, so we need you. We don't know how long we'll be able to hold back the Abyss or what the final price of averting this disaster will be. If giving up my life means that all the people of Natlan can no. have a future, then the sacrifice is practically negligible. Even when I'm staring death in the face, I don't think I'll regret this decision. Oh, shoot. I bear the name Baraka. This is a part of my duty. I understand. The chance may be exceedingly slim, but you still want to seize it because this could be the final step to victory. And you, Sidlali, the anxiety you feel. Mm. It's because you saw something, yes? Something you were not meant to see. So, you know about that, too. About what? What is she talking about? I've had concerns for a long time. Malika's plan needs too much time. And too many things can go wrong. Ah, oh, shoot. The Masters of the Nightwind have a ceremony that can be used to glimpse the future. Oh my goodness. It's just... Using this power on the Pyro Archon has always been seen as a taboo. Oh my god, you really are Genshi Fushuan. <laughs> and you did it anyway? W what did you see? Death. D huh? Oh. A key part of Mawika's plan is using the six heroes to release the power Shabalanke obtained from the ruler of death. Okay, yeah. Considering its origins. Oh, fuck. Is death. Fuck. No, I don't want I don't want Mawika to die, no. You, you're saying Mawika is going to die in this war against the abyss? Yes. What? No, no. I can't just ignore what I saw. That's why I need the Traveler's power. I need the power of a Descender. Don't forget, Sidney. Mm. Even if it may seem like someone is fated to die, the nature of death and fate are different. Fate indicates what will happen in the future. The time, manner, and place are all predetermined. Mm. But death is different. Death is a rule. The ruler of death's power will allow Mawika to triumph over the abyss. But she must offer her own life in the process. What the fuck? No, don't Himiko us, Genshin. Come on. The ruler of death cares little for the time and manner of a death. She simply guarantees that it will occur. Fate may be able to influence the timing, but that is all the Traveler can change. 
if, if, if wait, you're, you're saying we might be able to change when she dies, but not the outcome? Mm. I cannot help you with this, I'm afraid. It's beyond my capabilities. Mawika knows about all this, doesn't she? Yes. I imagine she has long accepted this eventuality. Fuck. I mean, maybe she won't actually die die. Maybe this is it like a different kind of death. I, I don't know. Like, yeah, I'm kind of thinking like Firefly's death, quote unquote. Maybe, maybe she'll die, but you know, not actually die die, like perma die. I don't know. <laughs> can she, wait, can she die and just be resurrected by the flame? Like uh, the older resurrection? Will that work? I, I don't know. Well, I can't. She's so strong. She never gives up. Never rests until a problem is solved. Mm. She's not the type of person to just quietly accept her death. The Traveler shares that quality. That's why I think this gamble is worth it. Together, I know they can overcome the impossible. Be it fate or death. We shall have to wait and see, but I will curb my expectations. My time is running out. It is my honor to witness humanity in this moment of absolute determination. Mm. We won't forget your contributions. Once we deal with the Abyss, we'll find a way to keep you alive. Thank you for saying that, but there is nothing you can do. Oh. How many years of life are enough? Ten? One hundred? One thousand? Ten thousand? The Night Kingdom will disappear. The humans will continue to fight against the Abyss. Mm. And in the end, all will cease to exist. When you consider all of that, extending my life is meaningless. That's what makes us different. Even if our end comes tomorrow, humanity will still do whatever it takes to survive today. Exactly. Times like these always fill me with admiration and reinforce my commitment to the mandate I shoulder. My creator was right in esteeming you as special above others. Mm. Here. This oh. is my gift to you and an extension of my will. It can record the traveler's experiences in this land, whether from the past or the future. Okay, so Shinlan doesn't actually need to give up her life, right? Right? With it, you can forge the ancient name you desire, and the Traveler will also become a hero forever reported in the memory of Natlan. Thank you. We're sorry to ask this of you when your strength is already all but spent. Mm. Really? Thank you so much. Your thanks are unnecessary. This is the least that an angel could do. Time for you to leave. It's getting dark. Fuck. God, the stakes just keep getting higher. Like, come on. I can't sleep with all uh, the noise outside. Oh, not again. Oh, forget it. Let's go check it out. Shit, man. Uh. Fuck, I'm not trying to feel about that. So, wait, so Marvel. Ugh. So Shinlan and might need to sacrifice herself or risk her life to try and get our ancient name. Then Mao Ika might die, like with the power of the six heroes and try to take down the abyss. It's just, uh. is there no outcome where everybody survives? Hmm. It could be like the Farina Fossilor situation. I guess. I guess it could. Or like, yeah, Fossilor died, but Farina didn't. Hmm. Yeah, I I'm aware that tomorrow we'll have, we'll have the HSR drip marketing. And also, you know, the 2.6 special program. Hmm. I guess we'll see. Uh, yeah, like, yeah. I guess we'll see what's, uh, yeah, going on here. Ah, oh, fuck, man. I, I really hope, like, Maui can chill and don't die. Oh, wait, speaking of them. Hey. Shilon and see Lolly. Is there a reason you're up so early? We went to see the Lord of the Night, 
And she gave us this. Yeah. Like I said before, I couldn't forge your ancient name because there was no record of you in the Night Kingdom. But with this, we can finally record your deeds. Just keep it with you during your time in Netland. And eventually, it'll be full of your adventures. All right. Really? Let Paimon see! Whoa! Whoa! Oh! It's like a record of... Oh, Pilgrim's Chronicle. What's this? Your journey, exploring the mysterious island, shall forever... Uh, uh, together shall forever shine in... Omoja's hearts. In the words of Malipo, who was baptized in fire? Oh, wait, isn't this... Malipo, who, whose ancient name was that? Kachinas? No, 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 Kinich. Oh, oh, this must be Kachina, right? Yeah, with your current Uhabati's taste of victory for the first time. Be thee, all may be sacrificed for the beloved land. The son of Trajan's destiny and the greatest companion. Oh, that's Paimon. The rest of these ones, though. Okay, these ones are not here. Oh. Oh, this counts world quest. Okay, so I guess we can... Rec okay, so this is like recording our history. <laughs> like, doing the Arkan quest as well as the world quest. I see. Okay. Cool. What's this one in the middle? The primal flame illuminates the world. Under the... Under the banner of Kyo Gozuni. Uh, Kyo... Gozi, he may take his first step towards future. Kyo Gozi, that's not a name we've heard before, is it? Hmm. Cool though. Oh, it's the two of us and a sun in the middle. Oh, and that must be uh, Kachina. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's not a concrete medium. It reflects the Lord of the Night's will, and shows what she wants you to see. All our deeds in well, Netherlands so far, words, yeah. Don't worry about this form. When you want to check the contents, just take it out and have a look. Sounds convenient! It's also super light and doesn't take up too much space! Well, the space is an issue. It's a really awesome An endless bag. It didn't come at a price, right? It didn't cost a ton of more, right? Oh, yeah. We'd feel bad accepting something like that! Oh, yeah. Don't worry, you two. It's, hmm. you know, like you saw yesterday, aiding humanity is the Lord of the Night's mandate. She would have willingly reconstructed Natland's ley lines at the cost of her own existence. She wouldn't she wouldn't ask anything in return for this. Hmm. Exactly. Just take it. You're well, lying to us. If you say so. <laughs> hmm. Oh thank god you hear the abyss attacked again, it's really bad. The monsters are everywhere, we need help. So soon? We just fought them off. Oh, we can figure that out later. Let's go. Peace again. Okay. Okay. We're not done with the quest by a long shot. Thankfully. I thought it was going to end like after that questioning session, but okay. Where is it? Where are they? Okay. At the, at the freaking doors of the arena. Okay. Hmm. Oh, what Yoshi Lonan is. Yeah. <laughs> She's going to chill about everything. Even when the future of Natlin's at stake here. <laughs> Okay, wait, what's here? Oh, it's a battle. Oh, okay. I guess we're entering a... Uh, abyss... Uh, abyss defense mode. Hello. I see. I'll send reinforcements to those two locations. This other one is too dangerous. I'll handle it myself. The remaining locations are remote with no inhabitants. Let's bring our warriors back and make sure they're careful on the retreat. Understood. I'll spread the word. Yeah, Sapphire, if you didn't hear it earlier, yeah, um, do their strike. Kinich We're and here. Kachino. What's going on? Kachina said the abyss attacked again? Yeah, Kinich and Kachina aren't voiced in English, unfortunately. Yes, it's not looking good. Our forces have always been able to handle the sporadic attacks, but now. There are more monsters than ever, and the attacks are more frequent. Hmm. What about the scale? What areas are they targeting? All of Natlan. Not oh, just shit. around the stadium, but even the remote areas of the Collective of Plenty are reporting attacks. Oh, fuck. Could this also be some kind of omen? If things continue like this, then... We won't last much longer, I know. 
What we're seeing now is the desperation of the abyss. It knows we're only one hero short. Mm. I don't have the strength to fight it right now. This is its best opportunity and its final chance. You're saying we just have to hold out for as long as we can? I guess so. <sighs> It'll be a long fight. Our current focus needs to be on protecting civilians and conserving manpower. There are caravans and adventurers trapped in the wild. Many of our warriors have already left to rescue them, but they'll need reinforcements. Leave that to us. We'll head out right away. All right. Shilonen, Kachina, head to the camp near the Children of Echoes. Seat Lolly, you're needed in the Masters of the Nightwind. Again. <laughs> As an important figure in the plan, Auroron will stay here. Your tribe is too far from the stadium. Understood. I'll leave right away. I prepared a hot air balloon to take you where you're needed. Messengers from the Scions of the Canopy are traveling all around Natlan. Update them once you've completed your mission, and they'll compile the information into a battle report. Okay. As I receive intel from the various regions, I'll plan your next move. All right. No time to lose. Let's go! Jeez. All right. This never ends. Keep. Let's keep going. Fuck, man. So much rattling. Be careful, everyone! What about us? Where should we go? I received word that a small team escorting civilians back to the stadium was attacked. They won't be able to hold out for long. Can I leave them to you? Alright, of course. Add your command, Mawika. Thank you. The hot air balloon is over there. Go get him. Alright. Whoa! Oh, cool! Oh, this I this is literally what I was talking about earlier. I was like, I wish like the like the abate like that was actually invaded by the abyss just so we could see like like uh like how devastating the situation is. Yeah, this is exactly what I wanted. Oh my god, I didn't think they'd do it. All hotspots that require reinforcements are shown here. Oh, cool. Okay, so we, it's yeah, it's kind of like a war map. I have to go like, like yeah, help out certain people. Okay. All hotspots are required reinforced. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Uh, help these guys out. All right. Run the hot air balloon to reinforce. Uh, the hotspot. Okay. Oh, here's what can change my party. Oh, and heal too. Nice. Uh, I think I'm good now, though. I, I want this team. Cool. All right, let's go. Out we go. It's pretty convenient. Not only fast, but also saves us a lot of energy. <laughs> We're kind of kind of leisurely though. Like it's going a bit like very very slow for like somebody who's like supposed to be dying all the way in the distance. Is there way we can speed these things up? Oh shit! There they are. Whoa! There are warriors fighting everywhere. Oh sure. Okay. No, they're, they're doing fine. Like chaos in the making. Good thing for those battle reports. Cool. I kind of glad they did this. You know, for emergency sake. And, you know, like, yeah, Nalan is in crisis, right? In crisis mode right now. Like, there's battles literally happening everywhere. I like this, actually. They, they should really do this, like, stuff more often. I, I love the environmental, like, storytelling stuff. Oh, yeah, look at look at those guys fucking battling fucking healer trolls. Oh, God. You guys can do it. Just, you know, set fire to a shield. Is there anybody, like, else? Oh, I can move, actually. I thought I, I, I couldn't. Oh, yeah, those guys need help? They must be trapped. Oh, Let's shit, they are. Let me down! Let me down! Need help? Enforcements. Thank goodness! Hey! I'm here! So oh, fuck. Into the uh. Oh, done. Hi, fellas. Thank you for coming. We were almost at the breaking point. Oh, there were just too many monsters. They just kept coming wave after wave. I've never seen it this bad. At least we got here in time. You all should get going. I know, but it's not that easy. Our cart was also attacked. Ah, uh, crap. I didn't, mean to, our... I didn't mean to skip the dialogue. I know, but it's not that easy. A lot of people were hurt in the battle just now. The cart was also attacked. And now our supplies scattered everywhere. Okay. That's not important right now. We need to focus on getting out of here alive. I know, but these were medical supplies. What if they need them back at the stadium? Just put them on the hard air balloon. It's them! Over here! We came to help, but looks like you don't need it. Nice job making it through. Grab the surprise. Now we can head straight to the next location. What other areas need help? Here. 
Take a look at the latest battle report. Oh, uh, yep. Messengers War from map. the Scions of the Canopy are traveling all around Natland to pass along the latest intel. If you see a messenger from the Scions of the Canopy, feel free to ask them about the latest battle situation. Thanks! Now where should we go next? Seems like you can hold your own in a fight, so let's split up. Choose where you want to go and we'll take the rest. Uh, okay. Still looks like they could use some help here, though. These supplies are really important. What should we do? It's all right. Don't delay your rescue efforts on our account. But if we stay here too long, the monsters might come back. What do you think, Traveler? Should we stay and help? Hmm. Paimon will do whatever you decide. Oh, I actually get choices here? Okay. Oh my goodness. Abyss of Seventy Week Ley Lines is that a stable. Oh my goodness, it's a whole ass war map. This is cool, actually. It's like a whole different mode. Okay. Um. Check the map and choose a hotspot to select. Okay, so I can help. I guess. Yeah, help out with the supplies or. Um, go to the next location. Oh, wait, no. These, oh, these guys. Oh, oh no. They're not part of the cutscene. Okay. Um. Oh, no. The, you must be, like, for supplies, right? Traveler, can I ask you a favor? My mother's a doctor. When she heard about the attacks in the wilderness, she rushed out to help, and I haven't heard from her since. I'm worried. She's not a fighter, and I can't leave to check on her. I want her to stay out of this. So if you see her, can you please tell her to take shelter? Will do. Yes, we've got this. Thank you. You gotcha. Well, that makes it easier to focus on the current battle. Okay, so talking to these guys is optional, but then I gotta move like afterwards. Okay. Do you get scared? <laughs> nope. It's not to be afraid, not really. Normal? You mean I'm not being a coward? Not at all. You're here, aren't you? Ready to fight even despite your fear. That's impressive. Oh, yeah. You're right. Thanks, you two. Yeah, you're brave. Don't worry, bro. Mission in the current has been complete. Check the map and select in the next location. Okay. Ooh, all right. Who, where do I want to reinforce help now? Oh, this is an emergency. Results will depend on whether you provide immediate support. Okay, so. Oh, wow, there's only there's two of them. Maika also needs help here, it seems. Oh, but so is Molani. Okay, we got we got to respond to the urgent ones first, but ah, fuck, what, which one do I choose? Oh, the swords are being attacked. And then... What here? Okay, people are being attacked. I'm saving the Saurians! Uh, I'm going. Let's save the Saurians. Up we go. Alright, next location. This is sick, actually. We just go all, all over helping out Natlin whenever we can. I'm assuming, like, the, yeah, the things are gonna get more difficult. It's gonna get, the situation's gonna get hairier by the second. But I'm enjoying this. This, this is fun. I hope I can do all of these, by the way. I hope I don't, like, miss out on, like, any of them and, like, leave people to die. Because that'd be terrible. I do want to also go to Maoika and uh, Malani and help out there as well. I gotta say that I kind of wish this hot air balloon was a bit faster. <laughs> yeah, calming music in <laughs> while we're in the middle of a freaking war. Ah, so relaxing. Look at Natland. Look at all the, uh, look at all the fighting with the abyss, like wolves. It, well, I think you can't even see them. Oh, there we go. Hey, can each just ran past? Oh, hey, bro. He must be busy delivering messages. At least he didn't look hurt. There he goes. Oh, and he just disappeared on the bridge. Glad to see him like Spider-Man over it or something. Uh, you can only do the once the exclamation marks, but you can read what the others see what they're doing. Okay. Oh, you can only do the ones the exclamation marks. Okay, so I guess I can only check in on like Mauika and the others. I see. Uh, great tremors rocks the area near the ruins. A sign. Perhaps that the, some giant monster looks beneath. Now we can sorry head over to evacuate the people and resolve the crisis. The hot springs and the people of the springs have been defied, uh, defiled by the abyss's power. The tribes people have organized the, an effort to purify the waters. Molani and Amina are taking part here as well. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, and the security support from the Fatui. And these guys as well. <laughs> Wanya, the, science, the, the chief of the science of Canopy, is recruiting new couriers to deal with the ever-increasing battle uh, report workload. Okay. Also, yeah, there's certain buffs in this mode. Oh, buff geo damage increase. Okay. So you do get increased effects. Okay. But I think I'll we'll just go with what we always have. I think I'm strong enough to defeat, like, even the uh, common enemies here. You there? Yeah, alright. Everything looks good so far. 
Oh shit, even though the oh, fucking dinosaurs are being attacked. Hey, you stop Come that right now. Help. Come here. Four, two, three. All right. Boom. Come on. Oh, wait, it's only just this guy left. Oh, and you too. Urber. Get him. All right. Oh. Oh, you're safe now. Wait, are you? Oh, shit. Oh, this <laughs> there's a fucking abyss like they're right here. Just getting fucked by this one Saurian. <laughs> All right, die. You're safe now. All right. You're safe now. The bad guys are all gone. Go and find your friends, okay? It's dangerous out here. It's best to stick together. I don't think they understood that. Okay, then. Shoo! Shoo! Come on, shoo! <laughs> nope. Still nothing. Uh, wait. There's something on the ground over there. Huh? Oh, what's that? What is that? Let's see. Oh, it's one of the battle reports from the Scions of the Canopy. Oh. This must be what the Saurians were trying to protect. Ah, shit. Did one of them die on our way here? Looks pretty recent, too. We can use it to figure out where to go next. If it's recent, that means the messenger might still be nearby. You're right. Maybe they just dropped it by accident, though. Uh, anyway, um... We saw the battle report, so you guys don't need to worry anymore. Huh. Still no response. Hmm. Well, what do you want to do? Follow the battle report or continue to explore this area? Guess we'll look around. I mean, right? Yeah. Check the map and select a hot spot. Brave, diligent Yamakasaur. Um, hmm. See if there's any survives nearby optional. Okay. I mean, oh, there you are. Hi. Just hiding in the bushes. <sighs> hey. Someone's injured. Oh, that must be the messenger. Uh, hey, are you all right? Can you? Okay, so what? Oh god, I didn't mean to skip the that. The battle report. I have to find the battle report. We already found it. Yeah, we got you covered. Here you go. Oh, thank you. <sighs> I just hope I'm not too late. In times like these, every second counts. Even a short delay can put lives at risk. <laughs> I do like the fact that you can somewhat ignore the optional options here. Like, you can just move on with your day and just let the people die if you want to. <laughs> Don't worry about that. We can take things from here. You just need to head back to the stadium and focus on getting better. Have faith in your people. You're right. I can't do much else in my current state anyway. How can we make sure he'll safely get back, though? We can't let him make the journey alone. It's too dangerous out there. Up aboard the hot air balloon. <laughs> or you guys can do that. Yeah. Huh? What the? Looks like these Yamakas still want to get you a lift. Whoa. You guys sure about this? It's really dangerous out there. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a yes. All right. Well, thanks. This is a huge help. Be careful on the road. Thank goodness for those Saurians. They really came to the rescue. Yeah, he sounds a much better chance of survival now. Turns out they could understand what you're saying the whole time. Really? <laughs> Unbelievable. I didn't know this this guy was here and I didn't find him. <laughs> well, then that means in your route he died. <laughs> well time to go. That's just how it is. He he just fucking died on the spot. Oh yeah, and she Lenny can also check up on her here. Uh the monsters in, in best both flanks of the valley around the Church of Echoes. The relevant personnel are currently organizing rescue operations with Kachina among their numbers. Uh, okay. And Kinich is, yeah, right here. You met Kinich on while on your way to provide support. You must be sending messages and fighting other monsters as he ranges across the land. Your other friends must be engaged in fighting everywhere else as well. Okay. Oh, Capitano's here. Oh, yo! He, he has an icon! Guys, he has an icon! That means he's gotta be playable, right? 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 Oh, my, oh, my week is no longer there. Oh, Malani, too. Oh, my week is here. There's a collapse in the Children of Echo's mine shafts. To make things worse, lava start pouring in, pouring in, trapping many workers. Mawika is going about to go in Seoul to rescue them. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> I like that you can see this, so you can like see all the battles that are happening. Oh, and these guys are uh, these guys are the ones I left alone. Oh yeah, okay. So under siege, yeah, I did. I left. I left them alone, but I'm hoping they went well. I hope. I hope that I did not uh got them killed or anything. Ah, shoot. But I gotta like decide two now. Uh, people here. 
Or right here. How about the Fatui? We went sure. Let's talk about the Fatui. Okay. Defeat all opponents. Oh, wait, I'm just here. Oh, just TP'd me here instead of taking the hot air balloon. Okay. All right, we're here. I guess I figured <laughs> taking the uh, hot air balloon all the time might have been a bit too uh, long. Into the wind. <laughs> Get him. A boom. Get him. Oh, yeah, look at that damage. <laughs> so weird fighting alongside the Fatui. <laughs> like, these guys as my allies instead of my enemies. <laughs> so weird, but it's cool. Get him! Ba boom! Boom! Okay. You're safe now. Thanks for the help. Uh, you're the Captain Soldiers, aren't you? Yes, per his order, we're now under the Pyro Archon's command. Not everyone understood his decision, but our Lord's orders take precedence over all. We're alive because of them. They saved us. Well, um, guess that means we should thank you guys. <laughs> <laughs> that feels so weird. Really weird. Agreed. Where are you headed? The people of the Springs? That was the plan, but I don't know if it's safe anymore. I suggest heading to the stadium. Most mm. of the manpower will be focused there, so it'll be safer than staying with the tribes. Once we take care of these monsters, some of our soldiers will escort you. Thank you so much. Guess a little extra help never hurts. Feels odd, though, having these guys satellites. <laughs> really odd, even though we, we did meet friendly for two weeks before, but... You know, not to this extent. People from all over Natlan are heading to the stadium. That area needs to be the center of our defensive efforts. If your other tasks are complete, I'm sure the people there could use your aid. All right. Thanks for the intel. Hearing those words from you also feels quite strange for me. <laughs> but I can only accept the situation at hand. Yeah, we all feel weird about this. Hey, abyss corruption level 40%. Wait, that's not good. Does that mean it's increasing? Oh, key site defense. Oh, okay, so we must go here now. And then, okay, these are the guys that did not help. Um, by the time reinforcements arrive, there are serious casualties in the areas. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I had to come here. My bad. Uh, team of warriors from the people of Springs are helping their starting companions retreat towards the stadium. Despite uh, the reports of monsters that can be along the way, they do not uh, yet need any supports. Oh yeah, again, okay. The Saurians we helped out are doing fine. Oh, Katina, what are you doing? The monsters infects. Okay, but Chilona is not here anymore for some reason. Oh, hey, the Fatui are here. Uh, two Fatui soldiers escorting civilians to the masters of the Nightwind over. Oh, just like out of the map. So this is where the nice the masters of the Nightwind are gonna be. I see. Cool though. This the yeah, I like this mode. It's it's very 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 sick. All right. Uh, yeah, what's this? A bit of corrosion levels. Uh, yeah, that that number going up me, it's bad, right? Okay, got three instants resolved. Total deaths. Active monsters. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. That's... Ugh. That's like casualties around Natlin, isn't it? Or, oh, no. It's, that, it's death meaning, like, the the monsters. I, I don't know. I probably got some monster deaths and not, like, civilians I failed to rescue. And only 40% too. What, what's gonna happen when this goes up? I don't know. I want to figure that out. All right. Go defend the stadium. You know, in hindsight, maybe I should have not defended wow, the Fatui. There are so many people here. Looks like it really is getting too dangerous for people to stay out in the wild. Guess that means the situation isn't getting any better. Well, we'll just have to keep fighting. Yep. Small so. Come on, get close. All right. Her boom. Okay, who else? Oh, you. It's a one lone hill throw just outside. All right. Oh, pylons, right. What's this camera angle? Oh, all right, they're coming in. Oh, destroy it. Stay focused. Ow. Wind. Don't die, please. Switch. All right. Brave names echo. Come on. Murder! Get away from the bylaw. Oh god, how many how many of these guys are there? Oh, okay, now I can hurt it. Strike a pose! 
Destroy it. Bring it. There we go. Woo. Okay. Hey, Kinich, yo. Oh, Kinich, you're back. Yeah, I thought I would check on the situation after finishing my delivery work. If you're here, though, I damn need it. Every person counts. So you wanted a reaver, anyways. Yeah, it really feels like we're running short on people everywhere. It's so dangerous out there. Just when we think everything's under control, another thing goes off the deep end. Not that Paimon's complaining, it's just... What if things get even worse? Hey, don't jinx us, okay, Paimon? What a stupid question. You know the answer. You're just too afraid to face it. Like a puny bug clinging to a pipe dream. Okay, that's enough out of you! <sighs> this may be one of the few times that Hall has a point. On the bright side, we can pat ourselves on the back for saving all these civilians and bringing them here. My tribe is launching a second wave of patrols soon. We'll do a scan of the whole nation. As long as we don't scatter our forces, the abyss has nothing to fear. Fear is useless anyways. Even in the endless search of monsters scares you to death, he said the fight. There's no other choice. What is Mawika? She took a small team of warriors to the mines. A group of people from the Children of Echoes were trapped there. I think she just got back. Lava alone makes that area dangerous. Now it's crawling with monsters. Without her power, she's just an ordinary vision bearer like the rest of us. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't worried. Spewing nonsense as always. Quit worrying and look at the outcome. Genius. She's obviously still the strongest warrior you have. Yeah, she always seems so confident. Plus, she told us you can only become the Archon by proving your strength. Hmm. It's true. She's it's she certainly helps us save manpower. She can handle the dangerous areas almost entirely on her own. All right, all right. I'm tired of this conversation. Yeah, take a break or get moving already. A break sounds good. We won't be much help in the field if we're dead on our feet. Good idea. Maybe we can see if the people around here need anything in the meantime. Even our break, we can still be helpful. Yeah. Uh, just jumping about to ask, how bad are the odd voice parts of Act 4? Not that bad. Kachina and Kinich do show up every now and then, but they don't have as big of a, a role if, like, uh, in this quest. So, they don't... They're in it for, like, 20% of it. Even our break, we can still be helpful, yeah. <laughs> Looks like we're on the same page. There are a lot of people in here. Could they all be refugees? Oh, shit, there's a lot of them. Okay. Uh, what's up, fellas? Oh, it's you two. Oh, I'm so glad you're all right. Hey, you made it back! Sure did. Dargo made sure we got back safely before rushing out again. Plus, we managed to deliver the medical supplies to the stadium. Hey, nice. I really can't thank you enough for your help. Cool about Star Act 4 soon? Yeah, enjoy it. It's a really, really good act so far. I I'm loving it, honestly. Are these guys voiced? Hey, you two. We made it back in one piece. Oh shit. Honestly, it's all thanks to you. The Fatui that helped us are still fighting out there. I hope they're okay. Nice. Okay, and what about you? <sighs> That's it. I need Jeez. A break. Okay, you take that break, bud. Alright, uh, anybody else? Oh, hey, kid. Oh, wait, no, you're not a kid. Terrified. You're a woman. <laughs> Monsters aren't gonna show up here, right? <laughs> That's way I didn't realize they were crouched down. I thought they were like a, a very short person. <laughs> okay, my, my my bad. The protection of this location is critical. Our current forces won't be enough. We need reinforcements. I'm sure other areas are thinking the exact same thing. Hmm. At this point, we should. I don't know, try and call in help from some other nations. Hey! <laughs> you guys are back. Hello. Oh wait, I believe you can talk to them if you if you become a Saurian. And actually understand what they're saying. Hello. Not going outside, it's too dangerous. That goes for you too. Meh. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> Alright, do you guys find? The commissions just keep coming one after another. Normally, I'd be happy, but given the circumstances... It's only a commission if you get paid. This is something else entirely. Still, everyone's doing their part. There's more to adventuring than commission fees. Anyone can be an adventurer. Except those who like to play it safe. 
Yeah, look at you, Paladin. <laughs> Fuck off. Uh, yeah, we we really should probably like try and then, uh. Yeah, we we really should try and like maybe recruit the other nations to like assist in this. Like maybe spare a few warriors here and there. Like I don't know, we can like go to Fontaine and re recruit Cloran and some other mechs and whatnots. But I get it, this is Natlin's uh, story, this is Natlin's problem, so obviously the other nations are not going to be involved. Hey, Kinich, hey, ho. The almighty dragon lord Kahuahau is trying to rest. Seize your racket at, at once, lowly creatures. We shall take no comment on the matter. No one asked. <laughs> yeah, no one asked, uh, hey, ho. Okay. Hey, you guys are back too. Alright, I need to become a Saurian to understand you. Um... Can I do it with any Saurian, or does it have to specifically be the one he is? Thanks for saving us, human. <laughs> Next time those pesky monsters show up, I'll fight them off. <laughs> okay. I think that's everybody you can talk to. Well, oh wait, no, not, not you. Yeah. You're, you sell, I sell this to you. I managed to accept my fear, but I still want to ask you one last thing. If I die, uh, do you think anyone will remember me? What a deep question. Um, yeah. Absolutely. Don't think about that. Do your best to stay alive. That's what I'm hoping for, too. It's just... <sighs> Never mind. Hmm. I'm guessing you get different survivors here depending on who you chose to save. Yeah. Okay, I think I talked to everybody, like literally everybody in this camp, so. Yeah, let's go have a rest. Actually, have I talked to everybody? Yeah, I have. Rest up. Where is it? Oh, on the bench here. Wanna get some rest, Traveler? We have to head out again in a bit. Uh yeah, let's get some rest. The latest battle reports here. Oh, okay, Kenich. Let's have at thee. <laughs> it's you two! Thanks again for rescuing me. Oh, you're welcome. You know each other? Oh, right, this guy saved from the, with the Saurians. Yeah, we ran into him out in the wild. He was injured, but luckily some Saurians took him back to safety. Uh, speaking of which, are you sure you've recovered enough to be out and about like this? Hmm. Now I'm, now I'm honestly curious. If you left that guy alone, because it was optional to save him. If you left that guy alone and just went on your merry way without saving him, will he even still be here? Hmm. <laughs> I got really lucky. My injuries were just some flesh wounds. The doctor said they should heal on their own as long as I get enough rest, so I figured I'd try and keep working if I could. Tis but a flesh wound. But, uh, it didn't take me long to start regretting that decision. Yeah. Everything's hurting now. As soon as I've delivered this battle report, I'm headed right back to go lie down. Sounds sensible. It's not a good idea to be taking risks while you're injured. <laughs> What's going on? Not another one! It's a Miss Pylon! That rabble rousing return! They don't want to give up! A Miss Pylon here, that's not good news. We have to deal with it now. Yeah, for sure. Go. Level 51. Okay. Oh, Kini, she's here. Locked up. Alright. Big shot. Unfortunately. Oh my god. Is this C3, Kini? Sure feels like it. I did 200k with that big shot there. What the hell? Oh, hey, yeah, that's a signature weapon. Target acquired. Big shot. Oh, that's almost 300k! Okay, this is for sure. This is for sure C3 Kinich. Oh, right, I can absorb those things. Right, destroy the abyss pylon. Boom. Alright, shoot, 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 shoot. Big shot. Yes. Another one? Come on. Big shot! Oh, uh, take that. Boom! Alright, come here. Into the wind. Come everybody. Whoa, what the fuck? What, what happened to me? Why did Farina go flying? 
Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened to my camera? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit, we're actually getting a fight scene. Uh-oh. What's happening? Um? Uh-oh. They're showing up everywhere. What? Oh, fuck me. You're shitting me. What absolute hell? They're- Oh my god, they even showed about the gates. Holy shit. Get him, shielding him! Oh, stab in the head! Oh, yes! My captain! <laughs> Fuck them, that's a lot of them. Yo! Oh, Rod's bow user, okay. Push him back! Thanks. The situation is grave. Hold this position. Keep the people safe. <laughs> That's twice now. <laughs> he saved Sheila Ned. <laughs> Chaos and emptiness. So that's the abyss. Oh fuck. And it knows that now is its best chance. But the sacred flame! Archon's on the case. Hmm. <laughs> you mean the six here to like show up now? Oh shit, that's a Gnosis. Oh crap. Hmm. It's gone? Okay. Did it close on its own or? Oh no, it's still there. That is. What was that? Fucked. That's not good. Oh shit. <laughs> the physical body went pure dread and destruction. Ha <laughs> ha That black pit of despair will eat you all alive. <laughs> At long last. <laughs> Laugh all you want, it's gonna eat you too. <laughs> so, that's the source of the abyss's power. It emitted a huge amount of abyssal energy. It's a full scale invasion of Natlin. I have to get a closer look at that thing. It may already be too late. Get to the place mentioned in the battle report. I have a feeling things are about to get very bad quickly. There's no time to lose. You got it. The fact that Deadpan Kanich is this nervous just goes to show how serious this really is. Oh, let's go. The disaster is really happening. Yeah, shit really is. Oh god. How much is- oh shit. Okay, well, we're still at 51%. Ugh, but more monsters increasing and more deaths are increasing. That is not good. Is it just up there now? Oh my goodness. Jeez. Part of me wants to take a photo this moment, not gonna lie. <laughs> but damn. Fuck. Well, hell has officially come to Earth. Hmm. Thanks for your help. We'll manage for now. Please go help the other affected areas. Nowhere safe from the Abyss monsters now, but at least they're still scared off by the Sacred Flame. We'll stay here and protect any refugees who have come here to seek sanctuary. Jeez, okay. Let's go. Uh, where to now? Okay. Oh my god. Oh, sh look at that. Uh, that's... Ooh. Uh, yeah, wow, Nalan. Oh, Nalan's is like just completely closed off by the abyss. I can't even leave. It, not that I would, but oh, it's just like, yeah, complete darkness. What else going on here? The abyss's power spreads from this place to all of Nalan. The monsters are here are endless, and their attacks inexorable. Okay, the two we are doing fine. The Kachin is still battling out there. So is Keenich. So it's literally everybody else. <laughs> okay, uh, where to? Hmm. Monster types. What is that monster type? Okay, so north or south? 
Well, I'm curious as to what this thing is, so let's go down here. This might be the more dire situation. Let's go. Oh, fuck. Alright, let's do this. Whoa. Oh, the oh. Are fighting each other. Oh, no. No, wait, something's wrong. They're abyss monsters. Oh, no, there's dead swords all around. Okay, you fucking corrupt sword. Swords are going down. Get him. Amazing. It's in already. Uh, what's this? Void Ward? What? How do you miss the sense upon the world? Displaying a rejection of all that is. Targets protected by Void Wards cannot be damaged while defended by him. Only by... Okay, so destroy the Void Wards. Okay. Oh, shoot. And Cannabis? Mimi Flora? An abyssal monster that has descended into this world from the deep darks and twisted and alien world that... The Tenebrous Mimi Flora can mimic various phenomena and can deploy Void Ward in combat. Oh, shoot. Okay. No, no, I'm not leaving. Oh, so they're being protected. So... Into the wind. Uh, how do I despair the shields? Is there, like, something nearby that's, like, protecting them? I guess I can kill you for now. Yeah, maybe that's to maybe I kill en like enough minions and then I can do damage to the boss. One with nature. Bring it. Oh now yeah, now I can damage you. Okay. Down. Ooh. Oh fuck, it's no use. They're all dead. Shoot. Oh no! Were we too late? We were on our way to the stadium with our Saurians when that dark entity emerged in the sky. It was seconds later, the abyss monsters appeared and changed into Saurian form. They fought till the end to protect us. And now... Oh. Keep moving, there's no place to hang around. Right. You need to get to the stadium. Come on, we'll take you. I guess. Uh, thank you. Oh, I'm so sorry. God. Truly I am. May the Wyab watch over your souls, now and forever. Oh. God, this story's getting darker and darker. Man. Hi, <laughs> Mon. Huh? There, this is no disaster. This is war. This is war, yep. Yeah. Hi, Mon knows it's just... It hasn't fully sunk in yet. Well, you guys wanted Alan to be the nation of war. Here it is. <laughs> oh, fuck. But anyway, right now, let's focus on getting them to the stadium. With any luck, there'll be an update waiting for us there. If not, we'll just have to play things by ear. Fuck, man. Even the, even the music's like way more dramatic. Dude. Uh, talk to Corius back at the stadium. Hey, yo. Oh, hey, it's you again. It's a real shame I'm stuck here nursing my wounds. Otherwise, I'd be out there on the front line delivering the latest intel to you guys. What's the current situation out there? <sighs> fewer and fewer messengers are making it back, and mm. each trip seems to be taking longer than the last. It gives me a really bad feeling. I'll update you on the latest intel for now. For next time, though, I'll see if I can find someone to bring the updates directly to you. Oh, I'm the sorry, and sleeping. It's, I was just like, wondering, who's, where's the ZD coming from? Okay. <laughs> I can't guarantee anything, though. As you know, we're seriously short on people. Don't worry. Oh, don't worry me. I'll manage. Save the intel for those who need it most. <laughs> I don't know how you do it. You really are a true hero. God, oh, more deaths, jeez. Leyline status dented, abyssal activity strong. Okay. Who's next? Who can we save now? Uh, oh, we obviously can't go out here. Yep, okay, that's a flower feather clan. And the abyss is wholly consumed by abyssal power. No life can endure here and none dare approach. 
Oh shoot, there's one thing over here too. The immense power of the abyss has taken on some ineffable form. Now it hangs up on the high uh, staining the skies of Natlin Black, spreading endless calamity upon each inch of Silverwing Land. Next, a keen each. Oh boy, you better get out of there, bro. Shit, okay, uh, and that, okay, the abyss is taking over this place too. Oh god. This is gonna be inevitable that it's gonna consume the whole map, isn't it? Fook. Okay, but we only have one battle to go to here, so let's go. Oh uh, yeah, go. Let's go save the science canopy. Jeez. <laughs> All right, let's go again. Yet another place crawling with monsters. Let's oh god. Area and see if there are any survivors. Uh, they already made this place their home. Are you shitting me? Oh fuck. All right, you guys are gonna die for this. Just letting you know. Into the wind. As one with wind and cloud. <sighs> All right. Get him. Why am I stuck at the ground? Oh, I'm stuck at a dead corpse. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't know you were there. At all? Nope. Oh shoot. Oh, what are these guys? The wind knows me. Yeah, I'm still not sure what to deal with the shield. I, I feel like. It Maybe it's like, I'll whack them hard enough, their shields will eventually go down. Amazing. Or fill up all the way. All right. Ow. <laughs> Get him. Let the mountain's veins boil! Get him. Okay. All right. Look for survivors. Anybody? Oh god, there's so many, so many people dead. Jeez. Stay back. Hey, it's. Wait, here. What happened to the monsters? Duty slain, but I can't save the rest for everybody else. All of them? But there were so many. Hey, we're just built different. What's the situation here? Any other survivors? Uh, huh. Nope. <sighs> The warriors protecting our group all fought to their deaths. We weren't about to sit around waiting to die, so we snuck out and made a run for it. But we didn't get far before the monsters spotted us. Mm. Who knows? Maybe we should have stayed put after all. Oh, when I was in my prime, I could have handled them all by myself. <laughs> <coughs> sure thing, old man. Uh, you need to get out of here now. Yeah. Take our hot air balloon and head to the stadium. Oh, but won't that hold you up if we take it? What the? How is anyone still here? I thought the monsters had captured this place. Hey, perfect timing. We need. Uh, can you escort them? Yes, of course. Leave them with us. <sighs> What's the matter? We need to go. It's not safe here. It's just. I can't help but think things might have turned out differently if only I'd chosen to fend for myself sooner, rather than expecting other people to protect me. <laughs> it's not too late, maybe even for me. I might be an old bag of bones, but I used to train in the spear, and I bet I could still remember a thing or two. Let's get going. I'm gonna fight to the very end, just like they did. Thanks again for your help. We'll be all right from here. Okay, but be extra careful on your way back. We'll see you at the stadium. You bet. Till then. Okay. All right. <laughs> Who else needs helping? Uh, search is, uh, okay, one, okay, one event. Okay, people are still fighting around. Let's go. Our best wolf now. Let's head out. God. Anyone here. The monsters are all that's left. Oh fuck, the two are dead. Shit, man. So much death everywhere. Jeez. Amazing. Yeah, the the, the, the Warren Inazuma has nothing on this, by the way. <laughs> I don't want to shit on Inazuma because I do generally do love the region, but my god, if only the uh if only the region was as war heavy as this. Like, jeez. Nope. Nobody here. 
the latest intel said the children of Echoes need support too. Let's head over. Shit, no, no survivors? Nobody? A single one? Ah, oh, fuck. What's this next to us? Oh, you picked the uh, highest respect to the, those who made the ultimate sacrifice fighting here to last. Oh. Fuck, we didn't save anybody. Crap. Okay, now endless echoes. Uh, yeah, let's go save Kajita's people. These warriors are struggling. Quick, let's help them. I got it, Paimon. Don't worry. Okay, very much worry. Oh god. Stay focused. The wind knows me. Clouds high. The birds. Shower me with prey. All right. Whack it. Destroy the pylon. Check this out. Err, boom. Carving way. Amazing. Get him. Come on, get him. Abuchki. Okay. Thank you so much. You saved the day. The enemy attacks grow stronger with each wave. Hmm. We're nearly at breaking point. But you don't save the woman and her kid there? Wait, what's there? There's. But I went there and there's nobody alive. Oh, fuck. Don't tell me I missed somebody I could have saved. Given how few of us are left. I think it's time we cut our losses. This space is as good as gone. Yeah, everyone needs to stick together. Best to regroup somewhere else. Better late than never. Time to evacuate. Warriors, gather round. Uh, only two, damn. <laughs> For anyone who still wants to Three. fight on the front lines, the Children of Echo's front is the closest to here. Anyone who wants to leave... We'll likely also see action as they evacuate, but we'll be afforded safety at the stadium. Those are the options. We're abandoning this base, and you're free to stay with the group or leave. With our limited numbers, I can't promise that we'll be of any real assistance to the children of Echo's war effort. Oh, they were hiding the Even bushes. If we do join them. Please bear this in mind as you Fuck. make your decision. Uh, th th there wasn't an optional thing that says look for survivors, so I thought I couldn't find anybody there. God damn it. Shoot. Now then, anyone who wishes to keep fighting, show me how serious you are. Really? Even after my less than rousing speech? Why would we give up now after everything we've been through? We didn't stick it out this far just to admit defeat. I suppose the dead sorry area. There's a baby yeah, monkeys are hiding in one of the watch on. Oh, fuck. Okay, uh, I guess from now on, when I fight in these, like, things, I'll try and look for survivors. We can't give another inch to the Abyss. We have to fight them back. If not for our own sake, then at least for our fallen brethren. Very well. For Natlan. For Natlan. For Natlan. We may be few in number. But our will remains strong. We will join the ranks of the Children of Echoes, and they will be stronger for it, however little. Okay, well, take care of yourselves. Don't worry. It'll be just like another Night Warden War. We'll force the Abyss back if it's the last thing we do. Hmm. What's that? Huh? Huh? The fuck? The hell was that? Shooting star? Shoot! That creepy abyss thing is raining down a dangerous looking substance again! Okay, we need to check that out. That's over towards people of the Springs territory. From what I've heard, their defenses have been substantially weakened by the abyss invasion. Then let's head over and check on them! Alright, let's yeah, let's go. Shoot. Yeah, I didn't realize I could like save survivors uh back at those other areas. I thought they were all gone. Uh, okay, M maybe part of me wants to like look around, see if there's anybody, like, s any survivors around. Maybe not here, though, because I guess these guys are the survivors. Yeah. Okay. Okay, next location. Okay. Uh, where is it? Yep. Here. Let's go.
Clear out the monster's presence. Okay. Oh, what the hell is that? Paimon can't believe it! What is this? An abyss meteor? Oh my god, we're literally doing nothing. At this rate, the abyss is just gonna keep sending more and more monsters. The next wave will be here soon. We need to get out of here. Let's get the area for Oh no, I'm doing fine. Okay. Is there any survivors or any information worth of value? Oh, you. There's just one battle report left, and it gives a long list of places where the dangerous substance has been dropping. Oh, each scenario is different. You didn't get the baby Yamunk sword because you already helped the people, and the story gets out. Every single thing depends on... Oh, right, because I did see a baby sword among the people in the dead soaring area. Okay, so the people saved the baby sword, so I didn't have to. Okay. But fuck, man. I Maybe that was that, like, yeah, woman and her child there I, I could have saved. Shoot. Hmm. Long list of places where the danger substance have been dropping. Uh, this is the first report we've had in ages, which means the messenger's job has become all but impossible. But there's nothing we can do about that. Our priority is to get to the next affected zone. Even if we don't find any survivors... Maybe... maybe that strange substance over there won't be as rock-solid as here. There's a chance, at least. What even is that, to begin with? Can we break it? Oh my god. Leyline status disordered. 2,000 deaths, jeez. 2,500 2, active monsters, abyss activity dire, 73%. Jeez. Okay, um... Any... any survivors at all? Any? Okay, this area might be cleared out entirely. Okay, let's go. Yeah, this, this situation is much more severe than I thought it would be. Okay, uh, only one location, right? Finality forthcoming. Oh boy. Time to go. About the hot air to reinforce. Okay, jeez. Yeah, way to make it a gloomy atmosphere, Hoyo. You've outdone yourself. Yeah, where's the thing now? Oh, hey, I can see the, uh, the Sumeru tree all the way over there. Yeah, where's that? Freaking black hole in the sky? Yep, right there. Jeez. Oh, yeah, but that's another one. I wonder, can I check back on this area? It's just like... Uh, yeah, if I fit the same somebody here, they're probably dead by now. Crap. Ugh, hurry up, balloon. Let me drop in on these guys. There are too many monsters. There are just too many. It's beyond anything we've seen before. Oh, well, there's nobody to help here. Fuck. Well, yeah, you guys wanted war? We got it. A full-scale one that covers the entirety of Natland. I really feel like we should need to, like, recruit help from the other nations or something. Ugh. The thing is, will they even accept? For sure, our friends will help, may help us, but... We can't convince the, like, you know, the, the armies there. Hey, wait, isn't this a Fatui base that, uh, Chaska, uh, infiltrated? Oh god, there's another one down there. Does anybody here even need rescuing anymore? I don't think it's possible to deepest surrounding Natland, yeah. Like, it, it's covering the whole map. I don't think outside nations can assist anymore. Oh, the Scions, right. Fuck, I thought I'd just help these guys as well. I wonder if I can... Can I shoot them? Oh, crap. Yeah, it's like fully empty now. I, actually, it's been fully taken over. I'm not seeing it on a live person anywhere in there. We're not helping? We're not... Oh, no. Oh, we just have to leave that place. Fuck. After the Nile Innovation, we've been isolated to the outside. Yeah, I guess we can't receive any external support no more. This- this all stuff is really depressing. Traveler, this war is getting too much for Paimon to take. Aww. Don't be afraid, Paimon. I know we can win this. Okay, let's do this! Yeah, hearing Paimon sad is, yeah, very depressing too. Yeah, the concept of war is definitely present here. Like, yeah, you guys wanted a nation of war. Everybody was complaining, like, man, Nalan, Nalan didn't look like it had a war in it. Here you go, 5.1. Boom, full-scale war. People are dying left, right, and center. Is this what you wanted? Uh, okay, we're finally here where we're meant to be. Is there even anybody here to help anymore? I guess, yeah, she was supposed to speak there, but maybe... Oh, thank goodness, those hmm. people are still standing. Oh, some survivors. Let me off. Let's go. We're here to help. Bring it. Come here. Boom, okay. The wind knows it. Boom, bam. Hey, what are these, like... Are these, like, enhanced pylons? Like, what are these? Amazing. Move out! You've gotta get out of here! 
only complaint is that the balloons is too slow, really. Yeah, I feel like they could have definitely made the balloon a, a tad bit faster. Still no luck, huh? What on earth are these things? How are they invulnerable to attack? Yeah, at least with regular abyssal pylons, anyone with a vision can destroy them. But this thing, no one's seen anything like it before. Hmm. It's like a part of that sky demon's body or something. We gotta go up there and kill it from the inside. <sighs> Whatever it is, it seems like it can spawn abyssal pylons, and with them, a never-ending stream of abyss monsters. <sighs> We're just no match for it. At this point, retreat looks like our best option. We're fighting a losing battle here. The stadium is our only hope. That's where the sacred flame is, which seems to be the one thing that Well of Abyssal Energy is afraid of. The Pyro Archon is guarding the flame. As long as that continues, we still have hope. What's this? Water. And some snacks. You look like you need it. I'm guessing you've been supporting the fight all over the map? Sounds like you need a breather. Mm. We got enough people to hold our own here. And it's high time you took a break. Why don't you sit down and gather your strength for a minute? Now I'm fine. We can keep going. It's true. We've been fighting pretty much non-stop. Traveler, you must be exhausted. What do you think? Right now, there are bigger things to worry about. What is it? As long as that dark monstrosity remains unbeaten, gathering the the gathering together might actually put a target on the Children of Echoes back. Oh, you're right. Well, then guess we'd better go warn them. Hmm. Um, it's your decision. If you want to set off right away, Paimon will come with you. Okay, what are my options here? Hmm. Y'all doing fine? Yep. These monsters. They're what the winners of the pilgrimage go on to fight, aren't they? Hmm. So, that makes us veterans of the Night Warden Wars now, too. I hadn't thought of it like that. But now that you mention it, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Neither of us are name bearers. So in principle, we should never have had the chance to fight on the front lines. In that sense, this is kind of a dream come true for us, isn't it? Not really. The people are dying. <laughs> We're not in this for fame or glory, but for our childhood dreams of one day becoming a hero. Oh, if anything that makes you sane, I suppose. Hey, why can't we destroy these things? Need a surfboard? Hmm, okay. I assume I have no other duties here, so I can set off. God, okay, Keenich, you better be fine, my bro. Uh... Okay, how about the children of echoes? Yeah, we gotta we gotta go do do that. Yep, let's go help. Yeah, I think I think Hoy themselves even realized that the water balloons were too slow, so they just sometimes just straight up teleport us unless they want to show what's happening in the background. The in. Oh goodness, Kachina, chilling on mirror. Hey. It's you guys. Things are bad here. Something fell out of the sky that's impervious to our attacks. Not just here. We just we we've just run into uh, we've run into a few of those things already. Pakal pa gives the order for everyone to evacuate. Shilin and I stayed behind as the rear guard. It's a good thing you did. Otherwise, we might not have made it in time. Kachina, she and I can deal with the remaining monsters and abyssal pylons. You should go catch up with the rest of the group before your parents start worrying about you. Got it. I'll leave right away. They'll need all the help they can get. Stay safe, Kachina. Come on. Let's get this done. Let's. <sighs> oh boy. Clear out the monsters. Per My god, they're present everywhere. Even the robots are on their side. Wait. <laughs> that's our boy. <sighs> oh, shoot. We need to help him. <sighs> oh, god. Don't <laughs> fall now. Hey, right, I got a shark in the Ow. One with nature. All right. Kick him in the face. Let's ride. Can I? Oh, I can't get the guy up there, can I? Oh, now I can. Come on. Lower your guard. Show me with the. All right. Kick him in the face. All right, die, ball creature. All right, yo. 
<laughs> Raquel, we're here. Yeah, why is the machines even fighting against the, like with the abyss? The wind knows. Me. Strike a pose. All right, doesn't matter. <laughs> Kick you in the face. Oh, not my lucky day. Ow, really not. Oh, gosh. That actually fucking hurt. Amazing. All right, you're safe. Oh, I'm not. Let my name echo in song. Letting brave names echo. Bring it. God. What are the other nations gonna think about this? This is like, hey, you've been helping out all the other regions, right? Yeah, we've been through a fucking war, Natlin. Surrounded by the whole abyss. It's just like, oh god. <laughs> Like, yeah, that's gotta be something for the Ponte news. Alright. Whew. Oh, another pylon. Damn. All the way down there. Alright. Down we go. Alright. Uh, come here. All of you. Destroy the thing. One with nature. Shower me with that. Pick in the face. Carving way. I got this. Ow, what why am I taking damage from? <laughs> As one with wind and cloud. Here's the end Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> the purpose ended preemptively. Okay, evac complete, prepare to fall back. We'll do. <laughs> Excuse me. This away. Oh fuck. Okay. We're not too far from it, are we? All right, yeah, let's go. This way. Yep, that's everyone. And no more casualties by the look of things. Yeah, this is, uh, good. We can evacuate shortly. I, I appreciate your help. How are, how are things out there? Pretty dire, I bet. Oh yeah, extremely dire. <sighs> Some of the things I've seen, I, I don't know if I'll ever be able to get them out of my mind. Hmm. Are we in Natland doomed to this fate? I've never witnessed a full-scale abyss evasion before. I mean, I'd heard stories about the sky being painted black, but I always thought that was an exaggeration. Mawika has witnessed this all before, so she knew better than anyone the terror and despair an abyss evasion would bring. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and despite that, she's still facing it head on. Yeah, just think about this, by the way. The fall of Conria and the Cataclysm was way worse than this. We've had to abandon our homes and chase the dying light of day. And maybe the only time we'll see the dawn again is in our dreams. But as long as there's even a sliver of hope, I am not going to give up. Me neither. We should catch up with the group. Let's go. Let's go. Rendezvous with the teams that, uh, that evacuated first. All right, we'll do. Abyss term, uh, abyss, the abyss tumor fell here. Oh, so the, is that what they're called? Abyss Tumors? Bring it. Fitting name, honestly. Alright. Let's go. Get some of power back. Alright. Hey, Gina. Great, you guys made it here unscathed. Gina just came by just now with some really bad news. Those indestructible abyss things have been dropped... Uh, by all the tribal territories. So it just wasn't a, it wasn't just a shit of echoes. Even the collective of, of plenty was affected, and they're the furthest away. But the worst affected region was the flower feathered clans. It, he said it's a complete disaster over there. What? Isn't that Chaska's tribe? Uh huh. She said she was gonna take Kuichi home to rest for a while. Oh dear. Kian should even stop to catch his breath before leaving for the stadium. He said he was going to try and assemble a team to go support them, but... But how, right? Everyone's struggling just to defend themselves. There is no spare manpower. At this rate, it won't be long before even the stadium is indefensible. And with everyone congregating at the stadium, the Abyss forces will start converging there, too. Then there will be a battle on a scale much larger than anything we've seen so far. Uh-huh. On the bright side, at least my old injuries aren't playing up at the moment means I can actually join in with the fighting. The crux of the issue is that the heart of the Abyss itself has joined the invasion. That's a power we just can't match. Mm. I have every faith in the courage of our people. The Natlanese will never give in to despair. But still, the fact is, our lives are more fragile than our spirits. 
Hmm. Traveler Paimon knows what you're about to say. We have to go to the Flower Feather Clan. Yeah. Paimon sure is getting tired from all this flying, but it doesn't matter. Wherever you go, Paimon's going too. Until the Pyre Archive succeeds in our plan, every life we save was, is worth it. Yep. We'll leave the Children of Echoes to you guys. Flower Feather Clan, hang in there. We're coming. Really? But you guys must be doing your limit, surely. If there was ever a time to push ourselves to the limit, that time is now. Oh shit, we're actually gonna go see the tribe now? Okay. Chaska, we're here. Wait, over there! It's Chaska and Queechi! Okay, yeah, just run right, right about here. Hey! What's up, fellas? Over here! Hurry! Oh god. What's going on here? Oh shit, Queechi's injured. Smack him! Let the mountain's veins boil! Jeez, okay, your shield's a stubborn one. All right. Come on. Break through. There we go. Wind strike. Kill it. Don't dodge me. There we go. Hey. Oh god. She fine? Oh She's no. In abyssal energy. Oh no. I'll help her. Suck it out. Please. Save her. Fuck, she dies here, doesn't she? Oh. No, no, okay, no. We're good, we're good, we're good. Koichi. Any better now? Koichi? Chaska, I used to think mom and dad were crazy for adopting you. I was the younger sibling, but I always felt like it was my job to help mom and dad take care of you. Uh. And I thought I could set you free from the abyssal energy you struggled with. I guess I was pretty full of myself, huh? Thinking I could fix you when... Well... We were always the same. Hush, Koichi. Put those thoughts right out of your mind. We'll be at the stadium in no time, okay? I'll carry you there. The abyssal contamination is gone now. Just rest, and you'll get better. I was always nagging you to slow down. Stop rushing headlong into things. <sighs> I just didn't want anything to happen to you. Mm. Or to anyone else because of you. I worried about you so much. But now, I realize I never really understood what it's like for you. The fact that you survived an abyssal contamination was a miracle. But it also left you in a constant state of agitation. The fact that we became family was... Another miracle. But with me worrying about you all the time, it feels like I just agitated you even further. No, absolutely not. Nothing could be further from the truth. Do you hear me? Uh. All you ever did was love me. Same goes for mom and dad. I've always known that. And I feel terrible because I really did want to get along as a family. It might take me some time, but I'll find a way to make it work. I'm so sorry, Koichi. I never meant to make you feel this way. It's okay, Chaska. No need to apologize. You didn't do anything wrong. No one did. It's nobody's fault that things didn't turn out great. I get it now. So, no nagging from me this time. You keep forging ahead, sis. Never slow down. And never hold back. <sighs> Spread your wings and fly free. Like the fiercest kookasaur in the sky. 
Dance. Show the world who the bravest flower feather warrior is. Because that's who you are. And that's the sister I'm proud of. Fuck. Koichi! Koichi! Shit. Koichi? <sighs> oh, what the fuck? Jaska? The hell are you doing? Uh. Uh. Oh god. Oh god. What's happening? Chaska? Oh fuck. Chaska? Yeah, wait. I was asked that abyssal energy within you? Wait. The hell's going on? Yeah, we're Koichi, but Chaska, what are you doing? What the hell is that? I think she's okay now. Let's give her some safe while she cools down. Fuck. Uh, I <laughs> think I said it as well, like during like 5.0 when we was met her. Just now? It looked like abyssal energy was flowing out of her, but then a split second later, it disappeared. Yeah, I, I kind of knew it from the moment, or like not knew it, but I predicted it from the moment like she was revealed as Chaska's sister. Like she's an NPC, and NPCs in this game always have heavy, heavy death flags, no matter who they are. <laughs> Shit. Uh, fuck though, ripped to Quichi. I, I I honestly thought she was a, she was about to awaken to like her ancient name there, because it's most likely her that's gonna be the the sixth hero. But hmm, I wasn't expecting that. Chaska managed to rein it in. Koichi did say that Chaska needs to let off steam now and then, or she'll end up losing herself. But this time she wrestled back control. Just like Koichi always hoped. If only we were faster! Dealing with abyssal contamination is a piece of cake for you! We could have gotten to her earlier than you could have treated her before... before it was too... Wait... What's happening to Chaska? Oh shit, no. She is getting her ancient name here. Uh huh. How unfair life can be. She's had the odds stacked against her from the very beginning, and each step forward has been an agonizing one. Maybe she would have been better off embracing her pain. But her journey goes on, and one question looms large in her mind. If she could rise above the layers of pain and ascend over the dark clouds of the Fuck. Mind, what then would she find? And that's this gotta be the most painful awakening. <laughs> Shit. Maybe the glorious light of the sun. Or maybe a dark empty void. There is only one way to find out. She needs to spread her wings and soar to new heights. That is the true meaning of life. You're from 500 years ago. My life's suffering shall be my epitaph. To remember the pain I endured. And finally, transcended. <sighs> 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 Let's take Kuichi somewhere safer. You and Chas gotta take Kuichi back to the stadium. Damn. Well, we now have all six heroes, Mabuika. What now? Shoot. We get your plan now, right? 
Oh, wait. No, but Maui has to sacrifice herself for that. Oh, shit. Yeah, just the time, but what at what cost? Hmm. Please. Take care of Koichi for me. I still have more important things to do. Of course. We are grateful for her service. Uh. Yes. She served selflessly. I'm sorry, Chaska. It's all right. I'm far from the only one going through this right now. Kuichi wanted to be a hero. And in my heart, she always will be. If we want to honor what she stood for, not to mention her sacrifice... Archon, we need to hurry. Hmm. Time for this war to end. And then the Ark Quest ends off there. <laughs> Just like, God damn it, fuck! <laughs> uh, that wouldn't be such a dickhead option if they did that. Oh. Uh, rip. Rip Koichi. You've been a great sister. May the Wyub grant you peace. And may songs be sung of your life's journey. We give thanks for the gift of your life and ours. And we look forward to meeting you again one day in a world of wonder and beauty. Hmm. Oh, seven is in chat, boys. Oh, seven is in chat for <laughs> Koichi. No, Archons, I'm out of my depth. We're understaffed and undersupplied, and I can't even treat half the wounds I'm seeing. I just wish I had someone with more expertise to turn to. No, I mustn't think like that. I have to rise to the challenge. Hmm. Oh, so yes, give me some energy as well. Uh, we can change your party here, so I'm assuming we might get into battle here in a second. Let's, uh, heal a bit first before we do so. I think we'll stick with the same team, though. Hey, you're still here. <laughs> you're back! Thank you for saving me. We're just glad you're okay. I... Uh Hey, where did those Saurians go? Oh, they're back at it again. Helping the remaining messengers with scouting and intel delivery. It kills me not being able to do my part. Especially knowing how bad things have gotten out there. But you gotta know your limits, I suppose. Hmm. Anybody else I can talk to before we uh, settle this? Nope, okay. Head to the center of the stadium to witness the gathering of the heroes. Oh, oh hey. it's you two. I thought we'd never see each other again. We put up a good fight, and we won. Even though it cost us dearly. Are you going to keep fighting? If so, please be careful. Fighting the Abyss is a great honor. But the path to victory lies not in honor and glory. But in surviving until the next morning. Okay, now we need to get everybody together. Oh, hey, you guys. I'm delighted to see you make it back safe and sound. Just keeping our word, we said we'd see you at the stadium. <laughs> you know, this was the first time in my life slaying an abyss monster. And I realized in that moment, they're not that tough. I let my fear win for too long. Makes me wonder how many people I could have saved if I'd just had the courage. Don't be so hard on yourself. Right now, staying alive is the most important thing you can do. We must live on so their stories can be told. They will live forever in our hearts. Hmm. Hey. Oh, I'm waiting. I thought it was like the little critter I saved. Uh, like it's starting to hit the beginning. Fuck, man. Everything, war is just happening everywhere. The Saurians I came back with were intent on following the other warriors into battle. Mm. There was just nothing I could do to stop them. That officially makes me the most useless member of the unit. <sighs> but at least I know enough about Saurian medicine to help treat their injuries. <sighs> All right. Up. Oh, the rest are here. Yep, our heroes. 
Here we go. Time for this war to end. Everyone, are you ready? A bitter war lies ahead. Our victory begins in each of your minds. So ignite the spirit of victory for me. May no further lives be lost, and no one else made to suffer the loss of their loved ones. As long as blood still runs through your veins, oh, even shit. the tiniest spark of steel against stone can ignite a flame. Lend your power. With the gaze of all Natlan. Even amid everlasting darkness, our bonds remain eternal. Persona. <laughs> Stone engraved in echoing peaks. Converge, disperse, and ashes be reborn. The flames born anew, and the blazing dawn. Oh shit. This kind of makes me wish we, we saw, like, uh, Kinich and, and Chilin and awaken to, like, their ancient names. A hero scaled the volcano to and Yantan, too. Sun. Anointed with flames, she shone with the light of a thousand stars. Now, guide me in my first step. Having foretold his own death, the omniscient man holds a feast in celebration. Let us raise our cups in honor of his heroism, and send him off with this final tribute. For at last, his wish is now fulfilled. And last one. All right, can you chew? Ah, uh, fuck, they're not voiced. <laughs> My past fuel and present flame, life marches ever on. We will answer the, to the fire for all our deeds. My life's suffering shall be my epitaph. To remember the pain I endured, and finally, transcend it. Heroes of the ages! Our moment has finally come! Finally come! Okay. We unite, unite as one! one. This better work. By the turn fire. Oh, he's voice here. Knowing true power. And accepting a fate of devotion. We embrace the transcendent flame. For Natlan! For Natlan! Blast that piece of junk out of the sky! Boom! Oh, that's so cool. <gasps> Super Saiyan. Oh, shit. In the name of the Pyro Archon Hovarin, I declare the Night Wars underway. The Ode of Resurrection will guard all life till the war is over. Oh, shit. I thought she was about to, like, blast that thing out of the sky for a second. But fuck, my wife has to, my wife has to give her life, doesn't she? Fuck. You hope in the sky. That is an outright scary level of power. So, from now on, all warriors will be able to resurrect themselves using the sacred flame. Oh, so I guess we can revive infinitely now. That's right. Good. No more casualties. It's time to wipe the enemy off the face of the earth. And to reclaim our lost territory. This is all, this is for all who gave their lives to Natlin. Everyone, let's go. Uh, we'll come with you. Yeah. Bye, Mom. Traveler. Huh? I'm so grateful you got to us when you did. You gave Koichi the chance to say those words to me before the end. Yeah, I had the feeling, yeah, Kinich, like, when he said something, that was not, that was clearly not Kinich in the cutscene. Like, th that was clearly somebody else, but I'm glad they, they at least, like, not made a voice at the very least, and not unvoiced. Hmm. If I'd lost control out there in the wild, 
This counterattack might never have been possible. Probably best not to think about that. More importantly, how are you feeling now? Any better? <sighs> not really. But now is not the time to deal with it. In the spirit of VUCA, I have to rise above it. The conflict and suffering in me are there to test my character. My struggle will make me stronger and make me the person Kuichi believed I can be. I have faith in you. All right, let's go show the Abyss what human beings are made of. They'll be sorry they messed with Natlan after we're through with them. Oh, right. The one that spoke was the uh, ancient name guy, not Kinich himself. Yeah. So yeah, Kinich was still on voice in the cutscene. Damn. Th this is why I kind of want to... Would have liked to, like, maybe wait until... Uh... Like, after the VAs come back to, like, play the quest. But, yeah, too late for that now. Oh, shit. We're actually gonna fight the tumor. The Abyss has a massive large army, but... Oh, there's no wrestling city, does it? Oh, shit. <laughs> You notice we have dialogue boxes here. Need okay. Oh. One with nature. So now we can take care of these tumors now. Good. Or not, Lan. Oh god, break it. Why is there three over here? Oh god, where's that? Where's that healing sandwich, Earl? Come here. One with nature. Die. Oh my god, the battle music is fucking glorious as well. Time to go. You hear this music, chat? Oh shit. Boom. God, why is your shield not going down? Into the wind. Fallen leaves. Adorn my Strike yeah, that's supposed to be voice too, yeah. Come on. Hear the echoes of the belly. Bring it. Get him. Boom. Oh. Okay, two more's gone. Oh, the one thing's gone. Break this one too. Aerial support from Awika? Whoa. Powerful she is now. It's borderline unfair. Oh shit, she just nuked that guy for like a hundred K. Yo. Just saying, Maui can better not die from this. Shoot. Use Come on. my power to destroy the abyss tumors. Yes. Uh there we go. Beat it up. Get it, guys. Oh my god, we're we're all here just beating on the thing. Yes. Cleansed. Time to go. Alright. Board the spirit way. Oh, here. Heal. Alright, let's go. Oh, did you guys see that huge fireball? It exploded right above my head. Yeah, thank God that thing Sorry, doesn't hurt us. I'll adjust my aim. <laughs> no, no, you're good, Archon. It didn't hurt at all. Plus, it was freaking cool. It was freaking cool. Not great for your eyesight, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fair point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a headset would have been nice. Mr. Jax at the Abyss. Kneel oh, before the mighty Kahua Kao. Is it possible to mute him? <laughs> How dare you into the contemptuous. <laughs> Thank you, Malika. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, shut up. We're in the middle of war right now. Oh shoot. Whoa. Okay. Backup has arrived. Alright, give him help. Vengeance for Kuichi. Vengeance. Oh god. Boom! Oh my god, Maui just fucking nuking everything. One with nature. Yeah, please tell me this is what she does, like when she actually gets revealed as a character. Come on. Kick. Kick. The ranks are thinning. Time to double down. Use the Pyro Archon's power and show no mercy. Show no mercy. Break. Break it. Break the thing. Alright, break the thing. There we go. Gone. But we can contact characters in the map? Contact characters? Wait, what? Oh, shoot. Oh, we can call them. Okay. Oh, do I have to like the power of telepathy now? Uh, hi. Kachina. Great work. Don't worry. We're unstoppable. Cool. We... Oh, is that coming towards me? Yeah, we are unstoppable. 
Cool. Kinich, what about you? How did my Mika? Just thought I'd pass that on. Eha is currently venting his anger on DBS monsters. Okay. Oh, uh, Capitano, how are you doing? Area secure. What's your status? Commander, we're facing a huge wave of monsters. Requesting urgent backup. Cool. <laughs> Acknowledge. I'm 200 meters out. I'll All right. I'll find my way to you. <sighs> Get him, Capitano. All enemies neutralized. Falling in. Yeah, let, let me just do this first. Oh, looks like they can hold their own just fine. Cool. All right. Uh, Arona, how are you doing? Okay, everyone's safe. Granny, please go on ahead with the others. I just need some more time. I promise. I won't hold things up. Oh, Roron! <laughs> Leave the vegetables and aphids behind, you dimwit! <laughs> it's too dangerous! Leave the, Leave the vegetables behind, idiot! <laughs> Come on. Uh, uh, Yachaska. Oh, God. Uh. unleashed her suppressed beast. Whew. She's even scarier than the monsters we're fighting. Jeez, okay, don't go too wild, okay? Molani, doing fine? Oh, did you guys see that huge fireball? It exploded right above my head. Oh, this is literally... <laughs> Sorry, Mulani. I'll adjust my aim. This is literally no, what we were no, talking about, okay? It didn't hurt at all. Plus, it was freaking cool. Not great for your eyesight, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fair point. All right, everybody's doing fine. I didn't miss anybody, did I? No, no, okay. Let's keep going. All right. Oh, another way. That's fine. I got Molani. Woohoo! You sort of ability to head to the Kajina, next location. Over here. I'll send you up. It'll be quicker. Wee! This is like riding a spirit way. That's my turn. Go, Turbo Twirly. Okay. Okay, everyone's safe. Granny, please go on ahead oh, with the others. I would have heard these dialogues anyways. Need some more time, I promise. I won't hold things up. Oh, Roron! Leave the vegetables and aphids behind, you <laughs> dimwit! It's too dangerous. Leave the veggies behind, dumbass. Okay. We got another abyss tumor. Oh, the one we, we saw here earlier, yeah. Let's get it. Fireball! Boom! Break it! Hey, you're All right. <laughs> that sacred flame has got me pretty fired up! I'm ready to put for a whole army of monsters! Let's Everyone, go! Just this now off the table! So charge! Nobody can die now! Infinite respawning! Oh yeah, look at that shit! Oh, Toll Death's going down! Monster's going down! Finally! Oh, back to 21%. The children of Echo's territory is secure. All monsters down. I'll go deal with the Abyss Tumor! All good here at the people of the Springs, too. We crushed it! I, I guess Molani Mamoika's power gives us a power to apathy now. <laughs> the masters of the Nightwind are also safe. Should I go support the Flower Feather Clan? Things are still pretty rough over there. I'm already en route. <sighs> no need. I just dealt with it. Already? But you were just at the stadium! <laughs> <sighs> yeah, well. You have no idea how long I've been itching to bash some heads in. Jeez, okay. Just a more savage than I realized. Oh! <laughs> Damn. Not complaining, though. Ian-san, what should we do about the Collective of Plenty? Your home's a long ways away from the Oh, they're using the ley lines to talk, right. Okay. <laughs> uh, the Collective of Plenty, okay. Oh, no need to worry. I just heard from Verisa. She says they're safe now. Verisa, okay. Sounds like all regions are secured. Abyss forces are weakening. Yeah! Their only game plan was to outnumber us, and that ain't gonna work now that we have the Ode of Resurrection on our side! <laughs> yeah, we die, we just come right back. Except that doesn't apply to us, so we should be... We need to be careful. Hold up, the Abyss is sending a sizable unit towards the stadium. I guess they realize the Ode of Resurrection is a game changer, so they're now trying to destroy the Sacred Flame. We ain't gonna let them get away with that. Friends! Let's gather at the stadium. To the Marcus stadium! Have descended. All near the stadium. Let's split up and take them out. 
Oh, we need someone to guard the main entrance. Allow me. All right. This is the final battle. Let's go. Actually, is that for the finale of the Arkham Quest? I I thought I thought there would be an Act Five. Hmm. Into the wind. Maybe I was maybe I was wrong. Either way though, this is a fucking epic finale. If it if it was it. Matlon, kick you in the face. Get him. Open the map when you arrive at the stadium. Okay. Yo, everybody's here. The captain's engaging in abyss all attack. Keenish is fighting the outside the stadium to stem the abyss tide. Yantan's dodgingly battling the abyss outside the stadium. Jilin and Rages is beyond the stadium's bounds, fighting valiantly to help the abyss general offense uh, offense off. Milan and Keenish are at the stadium's battery, fiercely holding the line against the abyss all attack. Aron's doing all he can to hold out the, the abyss's uh, underbridled assault beyond the stadium's bounds. Yo. Anybody else around? Nope, nobody else. Actually, what, is, what does it say now? Okay, I think it's the same thing, but it's it's weakening now. We got him by the ropes. Get him. Nachlon. Go. Oh, hey. Die. Oh my god. Nachlon. Oh shit, they guess a tanky. Not land. Uh, what's this weird mark on? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, resurrect. You know, you know what would have been cool like if your characters actually just auto revive in the battle. Okay, fuck. Heal. The wind knows. Didn't mean that. It's fine. We've infinite lives anyways. Boom. Oh god. Come here. All of you. Fallen leaves. Adorn my night. Oh Here shoot. The of the valley. Oh the mark is like decrease my Woo HP or some shit. Get off. Alright. Oh my god, how many more are there? Ruin cards now? With nature. Okay, now you guys are just taking the piss. The Shit, okay, they do actually a lot of Datlin. Did I say Datlin? <laughs> I, I meant damn. They deal a lot of damage. Sorry. Alright. Whew! Jeez! My goodness. Destroy that tumor! One punch! Break it! What? What is that? What the fuck? Was that? What was that? Oh, the fake sky, right! Oh, shoot. The sky, the stars, the sky is all a lie. I said, remember 1.1? Yo, we did it though! Oh. The Heavenly Princess are not going to be happy about that one. Ah, we're safe now, though. <laughs> Yay, we're safe. But, but now I have more questions. <laughs> hmm. I saw like get yeah, destroyed moods in that like little space. Oh, okay. 
Act 5 is in 5.2, Axis is in 5.3. Okay. Here to celebrate a glorious victory. So the war's over, but the story's not done by a long shot. Okay. But hey, we did it. It is a victory. The war is ended. By each and every one of us, and we should all be proud of what we have accomplished. God, yeah, this war arc is so peak. This this is definitely peak Genshin. God, the stories of the, of these games just keep getting better and better. Oh my goodness. Keep cooking, Hoyo. Keep fucking cooking. Oh man. We emerge victorious from another crisis to declare our beloved Natlan is saved. Yeah. All right. I must caution that this war is not yet over. We have not destroyed our enemy, merely driven them further into the depths of the Night Kingdom. Oh, shoot. Oh, okay, we're not done. Done. We just, I guess, yeah, fended off their main attack. But the Abyss underestimated Natlan's forces, and they have suffered a devastating defeat. It will be a long time before they are able to pose a threat to us again. After making some preparations, I will launch my final counterattack. I shall strike them in their lair and wipe them out for good. Oh shoot, that means no, oh no, that's when Mawi Mawika's supposed to sacrifice herself. Oh man. Shoot. Wait, Archon, are you saying you're going alone? Hmm. Yes. The abyssal energy there is too strong. Contact with it would be instantly lethal to anyone else. I'm sure you're all still fired up, and you must be eager to take the fight home to the enemy. But I must ask you to temper your ambitions. I will return victorious for all of us. It's kind of a shame that we can't join him with a final showdown. Please, look at the bigger picture. Thanks to every one of you, we have already secured an enormous victory. Tonight, we should celebrate to our heart's content. Uh, I guess if our lives are no longer at risk, things can basically go back to normal, right? That's good enough for me. Beats having monsters everywhere. I'm guessing nobody else saw the uh, sky tearing except for Mawika herself. Hmm. When the time comes, I will gather everyone here again. Interesting, like, yeah, the power of, um, the, uh, the angel of death essentially has a power to pierce through the sky and see that, yeah, the sky is a lie. Huh. Now. Let us also remember those who gave their lives fighting for our nation. Once the last dregs of the Abyss are wiped out, I intend to give them the grand funeral they deserve. An ancient name could never record the many who we lost. But no hero of Natlan should be forgotten. If, if I may, let's, uh, let's have a moment of silence for the Fallen. Uh, yep. Lastly, there is one more person I must thank for his extraordinary support in our time of need, and that is the Captain. Speaking in a personal capacity, I should like to offer my sincere congratulations on your victory. Well, everyone, please enjoy the victory feast. I hope it's a chance to relax your minds and rekindle your spirits, so that we may face what lies ahead with renewed vigor. Hmm. The full power for Divine Throne plus Ravonna's power is enough to cause damage to the false sky, yeah. I wonder, like, what happens if we tear that full false sky away? What would happen? Hmm. Probably that's gonna involve the entire Devat in danger, but... Hmm, that's intriguing though, that's very, very intriguing. <laughs> but hey, we did it! Oh my god, that war arc was so, so good. It really was. Up top Maika, but you know, <laughs> let's talk to everybody else first. Yo, you guys. Did it cheer one lucky devil? I don't know how you the heck you're still alive. Piff. I'm in a zero talents mood right now. So stop being so flippant. Unless you want to get punched in the face. What is it with you, Ahau? <laughs> Why are you so incapable of being nice? Yeah, the heavenly principles will not take that lying down. They they are gonna do something. Or maybe drop a fucking nail on on Natlin for all we know, but let's hope that doesn't happen anytime soon. Oh, this is rich. One measly victory and it's all gone to your head. Hmm. You, you'd all be Micreans by now if you're on for the heroic deeds of the mighty dragon lord, Kahula How. Alright, credit where credit's due. It's a bunch of greats for your trouble. Don't treat me like I'm your pet parrot! <laughs> Out of signs of canopy and uh, can collective plenty. The messengers are the worst affected. I expect there'll be delays in all deliveries in Natland for some time. 
<laughs> Although, fortunately, a lot of people have said that they're willing to help part, uh, part time. That should alleviate the situation. The Collective of Plenty was the furthest from the Abyss's entry point, so they didn't have as many monsters to deal with. From what I hear, they got off relatively unscathed. But it might have been a different story if Chaska hadn't gotten there when she did. That's good to hear. All's well that ends well. Well, what do you know? These are pretty tasty. <laughs> I'll serve in one more bunch of grace post haste. Okay, Polly. <laughs> Uh, we went through a whole war, and you guys, you guys never changed. Ah, uh, damn it! Hey, fellas. You did a great job, Kachina. Oh, you're much more confident now. Seems like winning the pilgrimage gave you a real boost. <laughs> nah, I just figured I should do my part, you know. I spoke to your mom and dad. They were singing your praises. They said the world's your oyster now. How are things with the people of the Springs base? There are some casualties, but the overall mood is very positive. I reckon they'll start rebuilding pretty soon. Same situation for the Children of Echoes. Still, it's so sad that some people couldn't be saved by the other resurrection. I think I want to hold a candlelight vigil for them when I get home. Oh, that's a great idea. Let's do it together. Hmm. Let's hope that their sacrifice marks the beginning of a new age for Natlan. An age of unprecedented peace. Yep. Okay, uh, yeah, and there's a few NPCs I want to talk to as well. Uh, well, well, some of them seems like they can't be talked to. Yeah, I'll just check to see who can and cannot be talked to for real quick. Okay, you guys can't. <laughs> okay, and yeah, the, oh yeah, these are some of the guys I actually saved along the way, I think. Alright, but, uh, the captain and Rodon. I must congratulate you on your efforts during this war. <laughs> I'm told you have proven yourself to be an outstanding adventurer and warrior. You remind me of the prince. The similarities in your approach are striking, especially when you told me you wanted to win. Well, I mean, I am your twin. I hope you will see him soon. Thank you. Hey, Aurora, how are the Masters of the Night Wind doing? Also, yeah, how's our twin? How's your sibling gonna feel about this whole abyss attack being thwarted? Probably not you happy, if I had to guess. Granny C. Lolly's been there the whole time, and she's a tough one. I think we should be fine. I'm sure there'll be some patching up to do, though. That's a job for the young folks. I should probably head back so I can pitch in. Do you need support from the Fatui? Uh, probably not. There are a lot of older folks in our tribe, and I suspect they would find your comrade's presence a little distressing. Right, because I look like a bunch of intimidating thugs. <laughs> yeah, say it to the captain's face, why don't you? Well, also in my tribe, excessive use of elemental energy is bad for your eyesight. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> Alright. And now, finally. Yep. Everybody's been talked to. I kind of wish, um, see Lolly showed up here, but I get it. She probably has plenty of screen time in Act 3, so she doesn't really need to be here. Still, though, it would have been nice for her to show up to the least. Alright, Aika, what's the next step in our plan? Ah, uh, welcome. Alright, the Abyss Order were causing the attack, not the actual Abyss that the, uh, that, yeah, that our siblings commanding, I see. You seem a little out of sorts. Are you just tired, or...? <sighs> I guess I am. You know... When I was up there in the sky, I could see all of Natland stretching out below me. People everywhere, giving everything they had for a chance at victory. I just... If only I'd been quicker. Maybe they wouldn't have... And Koichi. Mm -hmm. Maybe she'd still... I'm sorry. Now is not the time for that. Um... <clears throat> Fruit juice, right? Uh, make it a large? At least it's over now, that's something. I mean, yeah, Kuichi's probably was the whole reason Chaska, like, became a hero. And, you know, saved Natalie and everything, so if you think about it, yeah. She kind of saved us all. My 500-year plan has almost come to fruition. Just one last step to go. Hmm. Namely, my final battle against the Abyss. 
But battle is second nature to me, so I'm not feeling a huge amount of pressure. It was so awesome. The way you exploded that thing in the sky with one almighty punch! <laughs> Are you always going to have that kind of power from now on? Probably not. That's... Or is it like... Mm hmm. Oh, uh, that was the Divine Throne unleashing my full potential. Ah. And it was only temporary. Yep. I can't wield that power for any length of time. My body wouldn't be able to handle it. Likewise, the amplified power of the Ode of Resurrection was also temporary. Yeah. From now on, it's back to ancient name bearers only. I guess the Night Warden Wars are over for the foreseeable future. Correct. We dealt the Abyss a critical blow. So for the time being, it's too weak to sustain regular invasions. I hope the people will be able to enjoy this period of peace. Or rather, assuming all goes to plan, eternal peace. We've had centuries of war with the Abyss, and it's high time we brought that chapter to a close. Anyway, there's something I've been wondering about. Hmm. I know you've been at the center of some major events in other nations too, and uh -huh. fought many powerful foes. In this war, you were in the thick of it once again, dashing around tirelessly, supporting the fighting on all fronts. So tell me, what drives you to do this as a mere traveler passing through? Why risk life and limb for a cause that's not your own? So I can look back at my journey with a clear conscience. So I just can't turn a blind, a blind eye to injustice because Pyman hates the people see people suffer. Yeah, you know, I'll say this. It's that mindset that distinguishes the heroes in every story. They're the natural protagonists. What I'm really trying to say is, I would love for you, with your extraordinary talent and your sense of justice, to join me in this final step. Oh? You and I, together, finally putting an end to the ever-looming threat of the Abyss. Oh, yo, we get to join Mao Ika down there? But... I also don't want to take advantage of your good nature and readiness to help others. The final battle will be very dangerous, and you have the rest of your journey to consider. I'm sure you must be weary. Sleep well tonight. Let's talk again tomorrow in the Speaker's Chamber. I'll give you more details on the final battle, and then... I hope to hear your verdict. Hmm. I guess we shall rest up, then. My mind is still flooded with scenes mm. from the war. I can't get the images out of my head. Maybe I need another drink. Part of me wonders. It's not gonna be that easy to eradicate the abyss, huh? Hmm. And considering we're going along this, probably something that might go wrong down there. Oh, wow. If you're making uh, candles, I have some materials you can use. Oh. They're in the warehouse. Should have plenty to spare. I didn't realize these guys had, like, post-conversation dialogue. Oh, okay. Um, guess I'll tread carefully on the way in, then? Or... Ah, good point. I'll go instead. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone else is enjoying the celebration. But a house still being as aggravating as ever. Does he have a chip on his shoulder? What's it about? In fairness, repeating a few set phrases at Nazem is all parents know how to do. I am not a parent! I'm the almighty dragon lord Kahula How! <laughs> okay, and last but not least, Capitano. I'm still somewhat in disbelief that a united people prevailed against the abyss. Do I sense some regret in your words? <laughs> a degree of regret is inevitable. But above all, I feel profound admiration. He's still gotta get the pirate vision, doesn't he? Hmm, wonder how that's gonna work out. Also, holy shit, we took a beating in that in that battle. Jeez. Yeah, let's uh, heal for a spell first before we uh go and have a good rest. Oh my god, but yeah, that war arc was so so peak. And yeah, the sword's not over by a long shot. We still got a, a couple uh Mawika down there. But who knows? I just have the feeling a number of things going wrong. Need a surfboard? Hmm. I will. I will keep them to myself for now. But yeah, I just can't help but feel like this is not the end of our troubles in that land. Hmm. Yep. Go to speaker's chamber to look for Mauika. Oh, see, the story's still not over. I thought that would for sure be the end of it, temporarily. Until Act Five comes out, but. No, we still got more. 
Oh, see Lolly. Hey, traveler, Paimon. There you are. I've been looking all over for you. Oh, hey, Seat Lolly. What's up? Listen up. I have something really important to tell you. Mm hmm. All right, Mawika's what? death. Yeah. I, are you serious? So Mawika still has to die. Natlan must pay the price for Mawika's use of the ruler of death's power. Ah. Uh. That price is death. And only Mawika's death can clear the debt. Does she know that? She probably didn't. Yeah, she does, obviously. I had thought that the ruler of death might have a change of heart after seeing the people of Natlan come together and fight so bravely. But... Hmm. Even now that the war's over and the threat to Natlan is gone, it looks like that death is still set in stone. I had to know your thoughts. I want to save her, but I can't do it alone. I'll see what I can do. Okay, good. That makes me feel a little better. Thank you for standing up for us. There's clearly something special about you, so... If anyone has a chance of defying the rules, that would be you. Oh, and please don't breathe a word of this to Mawika. I'm sure she's well aware of the cost of using the Divine Throne's power. Mm -hmm. But if she finds out that anyone else knows, it could ruin our chances to help. Got it. Mum's the word. All right, that was the last major item on my to-do list. Now, since I've come all this way... Oh, God. I think it's finally time for a well-earned drink. Please don't get drunk again. I... Uh, go, go easy, though. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> don't worry. I said a drink. That means just one. <laughs> don't let that one become 20, you know? Okay. Final phase to stop the abyss. All right, you little munchkin. If you keep pestering nope. me, I'm gonna have to get serious. Oh, here again. I get a hundred kids a day telling me they want to be the next Pyro Archon. Why should I train you? Ah, uh, nagging isn't going to accomplish anything. No one can predict the future, and unless you have some exceptional jaw-dropping talent I'm unaware of... I can shoot those cornflakes in your kitchen from right here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. You couldn't make that shot from all the way over here? Well, I'll be. You made the shot. Oh, fuck it. I mean, he skipped the, the last part of his dialogue. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. You couldn't make that shot from all the way over here. Wait, hold on. You could hurt someone with that. The science of the canopy raise him tough. That's some real skill you got there, little lady. Uh -huh. Maybe you really will be Pyro Archon one day. Oh, wait, is Maui kept from the science initially? Hmm. Yeah, well now we're back in the uh, flashback area. Continue on with your journey. Yo, Mawika playable, chat! He's playable! <laughs> okay. Joke aside. See this? I'm the first one of us to get an ancient name! Oh, shoot. It's not just any ancient name, but Mollipo! If you ask me nicely, there's still time to join my team for the pilgrimage, you know. No need to scowl. You lost and I won. It's no big deal. You want me to be happy for you when your turn comes, right? So cheer up. I'll get my own ancient name soon enough. And it'll be an even better one than yours. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Uh. Well, good luck with that. <laughs> what ancient name could beat Molly Po in our tribe? <gasps> Unless... Surely you don't mean Kiongozi? Oh, wait, that's the name in the middle, like, of the thing I got. It is her ancient name. Kiongozi. Hmm. What's that name mean? A fuel named Fates. More flashbacks. <sighs> oh. That was fantastic. I can't believe I beat you in a wrestling match for once. Can't be more than a few days now until you're officially made the Pyro Archon. <laughs> Imagine me trying to schedule a wrestling session with you after that. Excuse me, Pyro Archon, but would you be able to take a day off from running the nation to yeah. wrestle with me? <laughs> oh, she has an eye patch. I just noticed. I heard 
that the Pyro Archon inherits the knowledge stored in the Sacred Flame. And apparently it can change your personality. I can't help but feel a little worried. <laughs> worried that you won't be able to beat me in a wrestling match anymore? Why would I be worried about that? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Clearly I'm just overthinking things. Why would you forget about me just because of some new job? Even if that job happens to be Archon. <laughs> Come on. One more round. Gotta pay good money to see Maoika wrestle. <laughs> Uh, back in her early days. Actually, I would, I would love to see, like, Bowie's, like, pass before she became the Archon. After the darkness will come the dawn. Hmm. I mean, I guess this is technically, like, the entire past. Alone. Yep. What's up, guys? <laughs> hey, you guys just joined at the... <laughs> at, um... Four. Great timing, by the way. Well, not great timing, but yeah. <laughs> We're just about to complete Act 4 of the Natlan Arkham Quest. God, it's been so good so far. But oh, fuck, does Mawika really have to die? Look at the sky! Hmm. It's getting brighter at last! Any other people? We walk the righteous path. There we go. And the Pyro Archon will guide us. Yep, here we are. The victors shall burn bright, while the losers <laughs> must turn to ash. I have done what is required of me. The rules are now written into the Night Kingdom, and this will help you to stand against the Abyss. Oh, so yeah, that was my Twitch notification. Hey, Daisy. Daisy Hunter, thanks for the follow. Anyways. It is still not enough. Oh. Oh, Shibalanki is... I always had the impression that Shibalanki was a, a lady's name. Huh. All this can do is give my people courage. It will not see us through a true catastrophe. If you are to make the Natlanese alone bear the consequences of a broken world, you will have to bring more to the bargaining table. Mm. You are the greediest human I have ever met. <laughs> and the fiercest negotiator. No other would seriously ask to borrow my power. My domain is death. And its power comes at a great price. The question is, are you prepared to pay? Oh, he was always addressed as he in the trailer and the heat strip marking. I see. I need that power. Only a hero can truly wield it. And heroes are not afraid of dying. No, a fear of death is ingrained in all living things. If the wielder of this power cannot conquer their fear, countless innocent lives will be claimed in their stead. Mm. For only then can the price be paid. Those are the rules. Mine is a nation that will not yield to the Abyss. And it will certainly not yield to your rules. As their culture and civilization is transmitted through the generations and their faith grows, the people will go from strength to strength. And reach heights that even I cannot dream of. Very well. I shall agree to help you. But I am merely a shade. And I do not have as much freedom to do as I please as you might think. Then what do you propose? Keep this a secret. Uh. If I am questioned about it, I will deny all involvement. And claim that treacherous Shibalanke stole my power. That will not be a problem. Thank you. I am glad we could reach an agreement. Oh. That's how the two got. Ah. Uh. Nope. Come in. <laughs> Done reminiscing, Mawika? As you know, I've asked you to come here to discuss the task of wiping out the abyss. Mm hmm. The fighting part was cool, but unnecessarily long. I do agree that the fighting may have dragged up for a bit too long, but I, f I think it was a perfect length. It just really showed, like, yeah, Natlin was dire. Like, things are bad. Like, very bad. So, yeah, the, the the countless fighting, I didn't really mind it that much because it served, like, its story purpose. Anyways, uh, yeah, time to uh, eradicate them. Oh, but first... Any progress on the ancient name? Oh, yeah, that. I forgot about it. Um, I received a gift from the Lord of the Night. <laughs> 
I'm surprised she was willing to help you, and by extension me. I'm very grateful to her. Wait, hold on. Wasn't the whole point of the ancient aims for winning that huge battle? Why would the traveler still need one by this point? Uh, yeah. Because she wants- oh, because she wants me to join in the final battle. That's right. The Abyss has retreated to the depths of the Night Kingdom, a place that has long since been corrupted by Abyssal energy. If we don't finish them off and restore the Ley Lines, the threat they pose to Natlan will remain. The battle we fought yesterday, we may one day have to fight again. This is the fate Natlan has always been resigned to. For thousands of years, we have struggled on the brink of a looming darkness and never known true peace. But this time, I want to break the cycle and free us from this fate for good. With the Sacred Flame, I can protect myself from the Abyssal Corruption, but beyond that, you are the only other person who can resist it. Yeah. It's perfect, I say. You were supposed to be exhausted from the constant fighting. Yeah, that's why I figured, like, yeah, the battle links was enough. It's just like, yeah, the Traveler's getting exhausted. You or you two are getting exhausted. It's just like, yeah, helps to, you know, put yourself in their shoes. If your ancient name can't be forged, I will go alone. But mm -hmm. if it can... I'd really love your help. Is the other resurrection working again? Not completely. Ooh. After all, the Night Kingdom is still plagued by abyssal corruption. But when I used the power of the Divine Throne, it dispelled a lot of that corruption. Plus, your ancient name is a special case, so the Lord of the Night will take special care of you. In short, the Oda Resurrection still has a number of limitations. Okay. But I can promise that it will work reliably on you. Good, then I'll join you in the battle. Sounds like I'm your only option anyways. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Are we forgetting something here? What about Paimon? What's her place in all this? You'll need to stay behind, obviously. What? You mean we'll be separated? Just for a day. Don't worry, Paimon. The Abyss is extremely devious. If you two go there together, you can bet they'll make Paimon their primary target just to put us in an impossible position. Yeah. Paimon wasn't that worried, but now she's petrified. What will you do without me? I'll be a complete mess, I'm sure, but only for a short time. Okay, well, Paimon needs to think about this because you're really asking a lot of her, but... We'll give Paimon some time and she'll do her best to rise to the challenge. I greatly appreciate it. Everyone in Natlan knows how important this final battle is. You will be remembered and revered long into the future, until the end of time. Mm. If you have any other questions, please ask away. Okay. Leave the speaker's chamber. I do have questions. As I've said, if you have any other questions, please ask away. Okay, let's... Yeah, again, another asking segment, but I don't mind this. How uh, about the aftermath of the war? The work of rebuilding is underway, and people are flocking to join the effort. With everyone rallying together, I'm sure it won't be long before there's no trace left of the damage done by this war. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was established in Sumero that Paimon does have a bit of separation anxiety away from the Traveler. Yeah. The healing process, on the other hand, uh, that's a bigger obstacle to overcome. Many are grieving, and there's simply no replacing the ones we lost. Uh huh. As the sun rises once more, and we rediscover the ability to believe in the future, we must never forget their sacrifice. As I've said, if you have any other questions, please ask away. What the false guy in the strange fragments? Yeah, <laughs> you saw that too, right, Mawika? False guy. I have heard this expression before, but yep. I think this was the first proof of its existence. Finally, we get to see it. It's 5.1 now, by the way. This was mentioned all the way in 1.1. Fucking four versions later. I think there's a lot of investigating to be done to understand what the fragments behind the sky are and why they were hidden in the first place. However, from what the Adventurers Guild tells me, hmm. neither the split sky phenomenon nor the fragments have ever been observed in any other nation. My guess is that the Heavenly Principles wants them kept a secret. I just hope they don't cause me any trouble over it. Yeah. Oh, you should be fine. Or, like, drop a fucking we nail again. Much crazier back in Fontaine, and we're still here. I mean, yeah, we deceived the Heavenly Art, the Principles, so we'll, we'll be okay. <laughs> 
Well, that's good to know. Anyway, the line I'm going with for the masses is astronomical anomaly. And I don't expect much of a backlash. Hmm. Meanwhile, we can look into it at our own pace. Oh, so, no, I guess the people of Nyla did see the crack in the sky. Okay. As I said, if you have any other questions, please ask away. How about the six heroes of old? What's happened to them now? That wasn't their souls we saw, but a snapshot of them in time. Oh. All the work of the ancient name engravers 500 years ago, who made some special modifications to their names. Their souls returned to the Night Kingdom long ago, and will have been reborn in Natland since, albeit in a different form. For all we know, they may have already lived many new lives by now. And so, even though we will never meet again, mm. they will always be by our side in one way or another. I think that gives another layer of meaning to the phrase, no one fights alone. As I've said, if you have any other questions, about the captain? please ask. What happens to him now? A temporary alliance, but I can tell that saving Natlan is not his only goal. He's gonna try and seize the Gnosis back, isn't he? Yeah, Paimon still doesn't get why saving Natlan would be so important to him in the first place. Unless he's just a good guy who wants to avoid another Conria. Hmm. But somehow Paimon doubts it's that simple. Yeah, he's got to have like another purpose of being here. <laughs> I wouldn't worry too much. Based on all the interactions we've had with him and knowing more about his background, I have a lot of respect for him. I don't think he has any ill intentions. <sighs> now, we should focus on the final battle. As I've Let's. Said, if you have any all right, other no questions. more questions. All right, let's set out. Let's do this. God, the music here is so insane. All right. Final battle time. Let's go. The Outlander with deep ties to this land. Oh, returns. shit. And this time. He is alone. Capitano, what are you doing? The power that the Pyro Archon used to strike back at the Abyss came from the Ruler of Death. From what I know of her rules, she will demand death in return. Mm. How do you know this? I see. So, the Ruler of Death sent you on your long journey. Wait. S the Ruler of What? Natland still has a final battle to fight. And I, too, have a final foe to face. For the sake of those countless lost souls, and a hope for Natland's future, I need your help. Oh shit. Capitano? What are you doing? Oh, I don't think he's doing anything bad, but I'm so curious. Oh, yeah. That's probably Kuichi's. Oh, Act 4. Okay. Okay, we don't actually go into the final battle yet. Okay, that's for Act 5. God damn, though. Oh, and we're here. This is, uh... Record pen by all. May the wire grant you peace, and may songs be sung of your life's journey. But false is the names of the deceased. Des a dense as a forest, written by those who mourn them. You, say, you see a familiar name on it. Waicha. Vichama. Bats. Uh... Uh, Tilhula, uh, Kuichi, Hanza. We give thanks for those, uh, for the gift of your life in ours, and we look to look forward to meeting you one again. Uh, you, <laughs> we look forward to meeting you again one day in a world of wonder and beauty. I don't know why I fucked that up halfway through. My bad. <laughs> ah, rip Kuichi once more. And yeah, we're not done by a long shot. Yeah, Act Five is where we're gonna. Have Set off with the final battle with the Abyss, but what is Capitano doing? What's the final foe he's gonna face? Because it doesn't sound like it's gonna... It's gonna be the Abyss either. Vishma's dead? Oh, fuck it is. R remind me, Vishma was that guy who, uh... From the signs of Canopy, right? Who wanted to resurrect his dead brother. At, in Act 2, I believe, right? Oh, with a dead... Yeah, dead friend, not brother. M my bad. Shit, man. I think the first two parts of Natalyn was the best uh, first two part of any nation, but topping Fontaine is hard and not ready... And I'm ready to be proven wrong. Yeah, like Fontaine was great, but Nala is just blowing things out of the water, quite literally. I cannot wait to see how it all ends. 
five points you can't come soon enough. I am so excited to see how this all like wraps up. But okay, fellas. That is what I'm going to end things off for today, everybody. Leave a like on the stream if you enjoyed my reaction to everything and uh, if you enjoyed the Nalan Arkham Quest 2. Subscribe today if you want to see some more videos or streams from me regarding Genshin, Star Rail, or Zenless. And also drop a follow on my Twitch channel as well because I will be doing stuff there. Um, <sighs> yeah, other games that are not related to Genshin. But that said, boys, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you guys again for tomorrow's stream for when we do um, yeah, Shi Lunen's uh, tribe mission and max her out and see her full potential. But alrighty, <laughs> it's time for me to go now, guys, and uh, take a chance to just process this amazing damn story. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you all next time.